Alrighty, I believe we are live and everything should be good. Let me make sure everything's being picked up. Everything's looking nice and tidy. I messed with my OBS settings like a little bit, so hopefully I didn't miss anything and the audio is recording okay. Hey Dionysos, how's it going? Um, let me throw in some tunes. There you go. Hey Rain, how's it going? Hey Rasmus, I hope I am not too late. Yeah, you're so late, man. Hey Evil Bean, hey Spark, hey Jojo. How's it going, gang? Hey Samuel. What is up, fellow Goomlers? Oh, goodness gracious. Hey Jesse, how's it going? Glad to finally catch a stream. I'm glad you were able to catch a stream too. Hey Saturn. Aren't you supposed to be like... I saw something going on in the Discord chat. Aren't you supposed to be like doing something? Uh, okay, let's uh, let's get doing this. So I I tried to get Nightbot in my stream chat. I don't know if it worked, but uh, we're going to test it. Real quick. No? Gosh darn it. See, I wasn't able to test it because I didn't have the actual stream chat open. I don't think there's a way to test Nightbot in YouTube chat unless you actually stream. Maybe... How do I do this? It says he's in here on the Nightbot website. Oh, there he is. It just took a little while. We got Nightbot, guys. So you can do exclamation mark bingo if you want to play bingo. There's also, um, oh god, there's also exclamation mark rules if you want to check out the, the rules for the run. Are you going to watch the eclipse? It's 26% where I live, uh, so it won't be much of an eclipse to watch. Uh, so I, I will be streaming instead. You can always have an unlisted stream for testing? That's a good idea. Yeah, I could have done that. And yeah, every now and then Nightbot will uh, shout out our Discord, so... There's a timer on the command, so you won't be able to spam them. Same with, yeah, bingo and rules. But yeah, we actually have a, a bot, so... That's fantastic. Anyways, good to see you guys all. Hey Aiden, hey Sudosudo, hey Berserk Llama, Dilo, Cybermage. Have you considered doing the stream starting in one hour type thing? I mean, I make community posts uh, for the streams like the start of each act. Um, or do you mean like start the stream and then just have like a screen up that says like stream starting in one hour? So I don't really want to do that. Or, oh, oh, I know what you mean. Like schedule the streams on YouTube. Um, yeah, I should probably do that. I should probably do that. That's a good idea. I'll probably do that in the future, yeah. The bingo command is not working. It's just because there's a timer. I don't want people spamming it. You just need to wait a minute before you, you do it again. Yeah, I'll start doing that in the future. That's a good idea, Bunny. Okay. Alrighty, let's uh, let's head to Act Two. Uh, for those of you who want a brief recap of where we're at, I don't think these gloves are gonna work. That's why I didn't include it in the Act One video. Um, I read online that these don't work when you trigger reverberation, uh, and just judging off of the fact that reverberation doesn't trigger the bloodlust elixir, I'm willing to bet reverberation doesn't actually count as us dealing the damage. So I don't think these are gonna work. Uh, so this is kind of an empty slot right now. I probably should have gotten the Daredevil gloves. Because uh, there's no reason to not have if these don't work, but whatever. Either way, let's continue on. I'm the goon indeed, Adam. Spooky spooky time. Let us spam bingo. The masses yearn for the retirement home. Yeah, seriously. Go back and get Daredevil gloves now. I don't really like... Uh, doing that for the like the purposes of the videos, you know, it makes things a little more awkward. I like having everything sorted like this is 
Act 1 stuff, and this is Act 2 stuff, and so on and so forth. Um, so we're gonna have to deal with the Shadow Curse. Um, I don't have the Light Cantrip. So I think I'm going to take off... Ah. We'll just unequip the Club of Hill Giant Strength, I think. Throw on a Torch. We can do wield these, right? You... Okay, not that Torch, apparently. There you go. Don't you have something that lets you cast light? Yeah, we could use the the ring. Oh yeah, we could use the ring. It probably still works even if we unequip it, right? Let me let me try. Throw that on. Cast light. Please work unequipped. Okay, it still works unequipped. Coolio. That's nice and handy. Alright, now let's get going. Can't wait to kill some shadows. Let's turn on this light, too. Can never have too many lights. Just remember, light has a duration. Does it? I mean, I, I guess that counts as a duration. What music is this? This is called the Lamb music. Just the OST from it. The duration changed? I'm pretty sure it's always been like that, at least in this game. Have you played Helldivers 2? I have not, no. My name is Gunter Gumli the Third. Who are you? Come closer. Have you ever played Cult of the Lamb? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a really fun game. I um, I'm a big roguelike fan in general. I've played a, a lot of them. I'm thrilled I could catch you live. Fantastic Act One video. Thanks, Mark. I really appreciate that. I miss Michelle Mind Freak. Yeah, I mean that's the sad fact. Life moves on, and so must we. Michelle Mindfreak will live eternal in our memories, at the very least. Bloodborne OST when? I don't know if that's the, the chill beats to balder your gate to that we're looking for. Balatro's a great roguelike, yeah. Are you going to help these people? I mean, we're going to, like, fight together with these people right now because we're getting, like, ambushed together. Um, but, yeah, I mean, in the actual inn, we're not going to, we're just going to side with the bad guys. These are some peasant folk, you know, we'd rather steer clear of them. Previous tab mentioned, yeah, that's one for the bingo players right there. I miss Monk Visto. His Act 1 was my first stream. That was a fun character. He died so much in Act 1, though. He, he died so, so much. I'm gonna make a chill Spotify playlist called Songs to Baldur Your Gate to. <laughs> His soul consumed by the darkness is not a good sign. Just in case you guys were wondering. It's a bad thing when your soul is consumed by the darkness. She balder on my gate till I three. So true. Okay. Um. Guys have necrotic immunity, so hex ain't gonna be useful here. That's okay. Uh, we could just drop a hunger of Hadar, get all of our allies in it. That's a that's an idea, huh? We could drop a fat haste and start shooting. I honestly don't hate that idea. Um. Just because we have so many people to distract, but because there's strength saves that we're going to have to make to, that we're going to like take damage otherwise, and our concentration saves aren't phenomenal. Well, I guess we still have the Bless.
Still, I'm probably just overthinking this one. We could probably get by with just uh, just some Eldritch Blasting. I also forgot to summon Shovel back. Give me give me a little while to like reintroduce myself to gaming. It's it's been a minute. For now, we'll just shoot some guys. Um, yeah, shoot this guy. We missed. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I'll oh, just uh, get all up in these guys' business. Turn on the light. And I think we'll get next to Harper Jonas so he has disadvantage if he decides to shoot us. <laughs> the curse, yeah, seriously. That was really smart moving, Harper Megan. That was a really good idea. They gotta mod it so I can make a bard and Pearl Jam the absolute brain to death. That would be pretty sick. Bruin, what are your hobbies when you're not making videos? Um, I like to uh, I like to play video games. If you'd believe it, I play a lot of video games. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, mainly Balatro and Last Epoch lately. Um. I also like to watch people play video games. I've been watching through uh, Joseph Anderson's playthrough of Disco Elysium lately, which a uh, phenomenal game, and I really like watching that dude, so it's always a fun time. Maybe I should cast Haste. Uh, maybe I should have done it last turn. And just start shooting. Uh, I feel like the shadows are only going to get more and more likely to go after us. We're not going to have a ton of great opportunities to cast haste otherwise, though. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Why not? You know, the first fight is for making mistakes. Mm, we'll just blast this guy a couple times. Oh, the duality of man. Okay, start keeping track of uh, how many crit hits we get as opposed to crit misses. We're one and one right now. He plays video games? Holy shit, that's wild, yeah. Um, what are other hobbies that I have? I like playing with my kitty cat. I like playing the guitar. I've been a, a big fan of that for the past uh, 14 or so years. I've actually been teaching a friend of mine how to play the guitar. We, uh, mainly as like a joke, we, we started learning how to play Playing God last night. Uh, which was, uh, that, that was a fun time. Mr. Druin, do you play Among Us? Not a big Among Us fan. Um, in general, I'm not a big fan of playing multiplayer games. Which, I, I, that might be shocking to you guys as somebody who plays exclusively Lone Wolf runs. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh... When I do play multiplayer games with people, I really just prefer, like, chill games where I can just, like, vibe with people, like, uh, I don't know, stuff where I can turn my brain off, like, Minecraft, or honestly, Baldur's Gate 3 at this point, uh, when I'm playing with other people, I can just kind of turn my head off and see what happens. This guy's gonna die. Oh, he's not in the Shadow Curse. Who is your cat named after? Uh, Aaron Burr's daughter. Blast that guy once, and we'll blast this guy once. And then we'll just do that again, I guess. There you go, we're doing things. We are doing things. Why did the second Eldritch Blast apply reverberation, but the first one didn't? Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, you know what? We'll just, uh... I actually kind of want to leave this guy at low HP. I mean, like, worst case, one of our buddies... Well, worst case, he kills one of our buddies. Yeah, we don't care about them. They're peasant folk anyways. Hey, why isn't my repelling blast on? Turn that shit on. Nice. 
cool. Good turn. Oddly specific. Yeah. Shiloh gets it, yeah. I sing that song to her all the time, Shiloh. I'll just be holding my little baby cat and I'll be like, Dear Theodosia, what to say to you? Cat cam, please. I don't really want to bug her. Um, especially while, when I'm streaming, because I don't want her to think that I'm going to play with her. She's, she gets very despondent when I whenever I start streaming. Uh, and I don't want to like give her a false hope, you know? If she wanders over to me, I'll, I'll, I'll pick her up and turn on the cat cam and show you guys my little baby cat. Uh, let's just blast the heck out of this guy. You'll love to see it. And then we'll blast the heck out of this guy. Yeah, I do think I'm going to kill this guy. You know what? Let's whack this guy too. Maybe a bad idea. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so what? That's two crit misses, two crit hits. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Three to one. Oh, I got three crit hits. Okay, good to know. Um, I think I have a, a better chance of killing this guy, so I'm gonna shoot this guy a couple times. That did not go how I wanted it to. He died to the reverberation. I was really hoping we would get another action so I like wouldn't have to worry about the shadow at all, but... Okay, now, now we're three and three. Just to be safe, I'm gonna heal. It would be really embarrassing if this guy got a crit hit on me and I died. <sighs> hey Twix, how's it going? Love the solo run vids, glad I managed to catch one live. I'm glad you managed to catch one live too. Thanks for being here. Okay, we did it. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. I heard a rumor you'd be getting the potent robes. Is that true? Or do you think the item is simply too strong? I actually have no idea if you're joking or not, but it was... You see that guy dying in the background? Did you guys see that? Hey, Crippled Gamer, how's it going? What happens if we say this? Do they just, like, turn on us? Yeah. That's right. Protected by magic. Only uh, anyways, it was really funny for me seeing the comments on the Act 1 Gunter video and seeing all of the people saying, um, like, like all of the, the, the people who were obviously from the stream making potent robe jokes. And then there's a lot of people responding to those comments being like, he, he can't get the potent robes, Alfira is dead. It was just, uh, it was just very funny seeing the contrast of, of people who were, like, in on it and people who weren't. I hope everything's going well. Everything is going pretty solid. Yeah, no, no complaints from me. Oh no, our haste is about to run out. Did you ever think of trying a duo run? Uh, I mean... I've, uh, like, I wouldn't be, like, t terribly against the idea. Uh, one thing that I dislike about doing, like, multiplayer playthroughs is just the scheduling. It's kind of a nightmare. Um, especially when you're trying to, like, make videos, you know? You don't want it to take, like, a month to get through one act kind of thing. Um, But I, I like doing dual playthroughs with my friends, just, you know, as a chill kind of thing. You there. Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. He's with me. How could you kill the best bard? Well, I mean, it wasn't like us, literally, who killed them. What happened to your player five and Fionn run? Scheduling, man. It just, like, we just kept, like... One of us would be like, hey, are you guys free to do it, like, on- Are you guys free to do it on this day? And then... One person would be like, yeah, that works for me. Another person would be like, oh, sorry, I got a family thing. Or it's like a holiday, or... 
uh, I got an appointment that day or something, you know, it would just, uh, it was just hard. And then eventually we just stopped trying to talk to each other uh, about organizing that again. It just kind of fell apart, um, which is unfortunate. Maybe we'll get back to it. We, we'd probably end up restarting though, just because it's been so long. No, I don't mean multiplayer, but two party members. Oh, no, no. There's no interest in me to play two different characters. The hero is it. I'm Gunter Gumli the Third, and I assure you, none of this is necessary. I assure you, it is. Hey, Spark, thanks for the $2 donation. I really appreciate it. Is that a no to the potent robe? Unfortunately, yeah. Risky ring, yes or no? Oh, yeah, for sure, risky ring, yeah. I saved your soldiers, and this is the thanks I got. You guys should join the Discord server. There's a really cool girl who talks a lot in it. True, yeah. You guys should join the Discord server. There's a link in the description, and Nightbot will probably remind us again soon, in like 10 minutes. Gunter's voice is great. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that, that voice for Gunter. I'm not sure about cool, but yapping is true. <laughs> I mean, we always gotta choose the warlock option, right? Your request falls deep into the nameless reaches of your patron's home plane. <laughs> That's fucking rude. To be met with deafening silence. So is Maul alive? No, Maul's dead too. Hold on to Hera. I think I know this one. Okay, we are not gonna call him out this playthrough. There's no recognition there. <clears throat> Just a sick intensity as his voice reverberates in your mind. Like or sleep badly, <laughs> so true. Like or be cursed to five nights of mediocre sleep. He's infected. I, but he's not with the cultists. Helped me fight them off a while back, in fact. No free XP from him. Um, I just don't think that we really have a reason to in character call him out like michelle did it because she's just like a little bitch but <laughs> i i don't think goomly or gunter has much of a reason to do that is this true nod how is that possible i work in mysterious ways enlighten me now maybe your patron sent him yeah maybe that's what happened I feel like I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to do this option. I've never done this option before. Oh God, it's a hard option, fellas. It's a hard option. Hey, we got this. We could, yeah, there you go. No problem. No problem. Congratulations. You learned yourself the benefits. He's like, yeah, okay. I'll trust you. Hear me, Harpers. Gunter would do it because Marcus is a peasant. I mean, he's somebody in a position of power in the place that we're trying to infiltrate, so... Which is like, that's the whole reason our patron sent on it. These guys are the dirty peasants. Like, this is a druid, you know? She probably smells like mildew and mold. Gunter's beard with that armor goes hard. It does go really hard, yeah. Um, I don't think we need to be entirely honest with her. We'll just say this. Then our interests align. We must all <clears throat> cure ourselves of the entire... True, but Marcus also looks like a knight known to aid nobles. Exactly, just yeah. The over there. Beds too, if you rest. She's also a well-known hero. The Harpers are very respected. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. You know, if I, like, I know she is a well-known hero and the Harpers are very respected, but if they were that good... They wouldn't have all almost died to like five shadows, you know? How rich is Gunter? Oh, his family is absolutely loaded. We're talking millions of gold pieces. They sleep like dragons. Uh, Gunter himself, uh, not so much. Hey Tovo, how's it going? What did I miss? Not much, just the first fight. Just the, we fought the shadows and, and got to the last light. Uh, where we're gonna immediately do our usual routine. Quartermaster Tally, my beloved. I only hope I brought enough to see us through. 
Are you gonna kill the Night Song this playthrough? We are never gonna kill the Night Song in any of our solo playthroughs because we can't. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Unless we play Shadow Heart. Uh, th this is a, a typical rich person thing to say, by the way. Cheeky. But, since you're asking. I took on three Harpers IRL, IRL before I died. They're not that powerful. Yeah, I could beat up a couple Harpers myself, I think. If you're all right by really lame, you can't worship Char TV. I, I agree. I, I would like to be able to do Char and stuff without having uh, Shadow Heart in the party. That would be fun. Buy one of these. Buy one of these. We're obviously going to buy this. I don't think there's anything else that she has that we want. Let me let me check my item list real quick. There's the Yuan-Ti scale mail. Um, it's the same AC as her current armor, though. So I don't think we're going to go for it. But it is there. That is the thing that we could possibly buy. I don't think we need to buy these potions anymore. I'm not going to waste my money on that. Um, I'll, I'll sell this stuff so that, you know, some people in, in chat don't get, like, too angry with me. I know it's uncharacteristic of me to say something like that, but... Bill. Okay, good, good enough. I could definitely destroy at least five harps, the musical instruments, and not get a scratch. I believe you, yeah. What's on your item list for Act 2? I can tell you guys. I'll give you a little sneak peek. So we're getting the uh, Cloak of Protection, obviously. We're getting the Spine Shutter Amulet, obviously. Uh, we're getting the Risky Ring. Uh, we're probably going to get the Covert Cowl here real quick while we're here. Um... And then later on, we're going to get the Dark Justice Year Helmet and the Dark Justice Year Half Plate. Since we're in the gauntlet. Okay. Why are you using the Strength Club? Uh, honestly, it's mainly just because we want to use the Knife of the Undermountain King. Uh, and then we we can't use a shield, so we would like to have something else in our uh, uh, other hand. And the only other light weapon that we really care about, or that can do anything for us, is this one. <sighs> Risky Ring is also powerful, but not good for combat. Oh, I know it's not great. Like, especially with one character when every single saving throw is going to be directed at you. Um, but I just really want to see the crits pour in, you know? All right, should we talk to them before we like go into their basement and, and do that stuff? We'll talk to Jahira real quick. And then we'll go into the basement. Is he going Dark Urge, so no Potent Robe? I mean, we're not going Dark Urge, but we're going, uh, we're just an evil run, so yeah, no Potent Robe. All right, we'll have a quick chat with Jahira and then head into the basement. You're welcome. Please do a run where you're comically evil and use the evil swirl mustache, please. Maybe we'll do that for the rogue. That would be fun. Just have like a... A very, very evil rogue. A devious man. No, not the risky ring. The risque ring. Oh, what does the risque ring do? You didn't say, but are you just not able to physically kill the Night Song because there's no option, or you can't because you'll get your shit rocked by Catherick? Oh no, it just doesn't let you. Only sh only uh, Shart can kill the Night Song. There's yeah, there's no option to kill the Night Song if you don't have Shadow Heart. But it spoils my trust. What happens if you decline to drink? You know what? This is, a, this is a run for testing things. Evil McEvil the Rogue. Yeah, exactly. 
What about using blindness immunity in darkness? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we have that going already. Um, I just don't want to, like, abuse it too much because it breaks the enemy AI. If the AI actually, like, tried to hit you while you were still in the darkness, I'd be more okay with doing it. But the fact that they just give up uh, really, really sours my taste of that combo. It has no influence on me whatsoever. It's it's the truth. See, this is why we're siding against these guys. We've known this woman for like two minutes, and she's already threatened us like three times. I have no choice but to trust you. How about selling Night Song to Balthazar? I mean, it's still it's still the same end result. They still Balthazar and Catherick betray you. And then you have to uh, free the Night Song, anyways, in the Catholic fight. It's the same thing. That was a public display of hope, despite private reservations. I have every reason. To Bruin, you should do a non Gloomstalker Ranger run in a way of the four elements monk run. I mean, the monk run is done already, so that probably won't happen. But I'm likely gonna go, um, Beastmaster Ranger. We're gonna try and make that work with the Lone Wolf run. Are you playing Dirge? No, we're just an evil guy. Tell the Night Song to Laroakin? Yeah, we'll probably do that. Hopefully it goes better than our, our last attempt. Hey, there's Nightbot chiming in again. The neat thing about selling Night Song to Balthazar is that you get to skip Zarel and the first phase of Catherick, but then you have to fight Balthazar in that room with like a million other guys. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. At least that's what happened when I did it. Also, I don't think I... Oh, the first phase of Catherick, like on the rooftop. Yeah, you do get to skip that, yeah. Will you do Wild Magic Barbarian? No, probably not. I think I'm going to do the... Um, I want to go Aspect... Uh, oh god, what's it called? Like Wild Heart Barbarian? Yeah. There's always hope. You are that hope. If you're a sorcerer, you can subtle spell and sneak away. Neat. You're gonna force Balthazar to get involved in the portal fight? I don't think we need to do that this run. Uh, if we have to, then we'll do it, but I'd prefer not to. Knocking this is... Me. Is this Cult of the Lamb? Oh, this is. This is Knuckle Bones. Yeah, good song. Do wild magic barb, it's so fucking silly. Ah, I mean, we're gonna go wild magic sorcerer, so I think it would be a little, uh, too similar, you know? I'd rather mix it up with the builds. I think for the wild magic barb build, I'm gonna go, uh, like, a healing-based tiger, uh, tiger cleave build, plus flynn's flail, plus periaptive wound closure, and just hit, like, three enemies and heal, like, 18 health every single attack. That'd be cool. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. Loved the Act 1 vid. Thanks, Project Marvels. I really appreciate it. Have you ever wiped out Moonrise before the fight with Aelin? Tried its mega janky? I have not, actually. Um, uh, I'll think about doing it. With his character. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. The Halbert in the Inquisitor's Chamber is busted with Tiger Aspect, Wildheart, six stacks of Force Conduit, East Turn, true. That's pretty busted, too. Alright. Will you do a Necromancer build for the wizard? No, probably not. I think I'm going to save the Necromancy for our Druid run, do a Spore Druid. Just because Spore Druid seems like a better Necromancer than Necromancer to me. I remember I used Wild Magic Sork in my first playthrough. Once I found out I could respec with Withers, I changed my class. Like, off of Wild Magic Sork, or... To it. 
What do you think is the worst subclass in Baldur's Gate 3? No multiclassing? Oof, tough one. Um, tough one. I don't know, maybe Arcane Trickster? Not a great one. Okay, now we'll head down here. I passed it. I passed it. Uh, we'll do a, we'll do a wee short rest. We don't have a haste for these guys, but I'm sure Hunger of Adar is going to be pretty good. As long as you can take out the second floor by yourself, you can cheese the whole tower with Hunger of Adar on the staircase. I don't doubt that this character can do it. It's the, the main th reason why I'm hesitant to take on the whole tower is just because I don't know if it's something that our character would do. You know, you feel me? We can do this. We got three tools. We could do this. Don't use inspiration on it, though. We can do this. We got three tools. What's your favorite ice cream flair? Whatever the most chocolatey one is. I'm a big chocolate ice cream man. Are you going to save the night song? Yeah, we don't have a choice. Totally feel you. I love how you play the game with the RPers mindset. Yeah, I think it makes it um it, it like enhances the replayability of it too, in my opinion. How many locked doors does this place need, man? Good lord. Yeah, here we go. Arcane Tricksters in Act 3 are budget Elminster with unlimited level 6 spells thanks to thievery. I mean, if you're talking about stealing spell scrolls, why not just be like a, like any rogue, you know? What makes Arcane Trickster special? How do you say warlock in Spanish? I honestly have the, haven't the faintest idea. I really only played a healing warlock, so I don't know, like the offense version... I don't know the healing version. How do you play a healing warlock? Okay, we'll, we'll get back to that. What is this quest marker? Okay, these guys can like teleport or something, right? Maybe we should uh, like walk down the street and, and, and level up before we do this. How do you come up with your item list for each act? Do you just browse the wiki? Pretty much, yeah. <clears throat> Celestial Patron. I recently had a player switch. Oh, I thought you meant like in Baldur's Gate 3. Gotta get our, our best girl back. Mean locks are awful. Teleport and fear. They are pretty atrocious from, uh, yeah, from what I remember. Wouldn't it be like Brujo for Spanish Warlock? That makes sense. Yeah, we'll just send Shovel in as a, a little distraction. We will likely just cast Hunger. Uh, this might be a darkness fight, honestly. Like, these guys just suck ass. The fact that they can teleport. Maybe they need to be able to see to teleport, so maybe Hunger of Adar will still do something. But... Mm, yeah, we'll just we'll just swing with uh we'll swing with shovel and see what happens. Did I put on the cloak of protection? I didn't think I did. Yeah, hold up, <laughs> that seems important. There you go. Oh man, shovel came back. Hardest fight in the game? I think a lot of that like really depends on your build. Um. I mean, just like overall, I guess Raphael, just like number wise, you know? Yeah. Get out of it, shovel. It's a lot of them, dude. That's a lot of mean locks. No, oh, where are you going? Don't walk into them. What the hell, dude? Okay. 
At least roll with advantage, man. Okay. Is it true that Witchy is your alt account? Yeah, I mean, can't you tell by the way we talk? We're so similar. Okay, let's get a blast him. Should we hex these guys? Maybe? Maybe that's this is who we hex? I don't think Hunger of Adar is going to do much for us is the problem. We can move Shovel out of the way and then drop a Hunger and then we can like push these guys back into it, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I think we'll drop it right here. And then we'll just blast whoever's closest to us. I think the crit just did less damage than the regular hit there. Uh, well, that guy's really in the thick of it. That really feels bad for him. Uh, and then we'll sneak up the high ground. Maybe this will be a good thing for us. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe this will be easier for them to teleport up to. We'll see. We can shove them off here at the very least. Okay. Their initiative is so high, too. Oh, there goes Shovel. These guys teleport out of Hunger of Hadar? Mm. Well, they haven't so far. Do you guys know that Luality is just truant and drag? Yeah, we, we also talk very similar, me and Luality. Okay, well this is this is nice. This is reassuring that they're all just hanging out in here. Hopefully this guy doesn't do anything funky. I want to see what our spell save is like on these guys. DC 12, you love to see it. So I guess that's just, like, that's just it, you know? We're just gonna have a DC 12 for the rest of the playthrough. What is our, um... Hit bonus? Our, the hit bonus seems to be working okay. These guys are, like, really in the thick of it. And let's keep them that way. It, uh, the fact that none of them teleported from here up here seemed reassuring to me, so I think I'm okay with blasting these guys back a little further. Um, hopefully we can get some crits and like frighten a whole group of these guys. That, that would make me really happy. I don't think we frightened like any of them. We frightened one. Frightened and prone, which is good. That makes me happy. Uh, we'll move back a little. This fight is really scary, so we'll uh, we'll see how this one goes. Potent robe would give you a higher DC. Yeah, surely potent robe would fix our problems. What is your favorite Spanish word? I like carcetines. Oh, okay. They can teleport in Hunger of Hadar. That makes me very happy. Okay, I think we need to move, like, back down here now to blast this guy back in. Sounds fancy? It means socks. <laughs> Our push really isn't pushing these guys that far anymore, huh? Um, Honestly, maybe we do a potion of speed here. Uh, like this is this is some scary stuff. I am I am frightened, and I, I really want to keep these guys at bay. Yeah, I think we uh, I think we down a potion of speed here. Uh, but we'll see how these first couple blasts go. Yeah, the one at the front got frightened, which is uh, very nice. And then I think I'm gonna take a potion of speed and. Hopefully kill this guy without reverberation, trigger our bloodlust elixir.
Nice. Frighten that guy too. Um, even though these guys are frightened, I still think we push them back. Those are some really bad damage rolls, man. Very, very bad. I'm okay moving back up. We'll move here since they, they seem to be unwilling to like teleport right up here. Okay. That was nice. I liked that. Okay, same type of stick. We're gonna go back here and shove this guy back into the darkness, the hunger of Adar. You are the lowest health guy. You're pretty far though. I think we're just gonna push these guys back for now. These two. Not the crit miss. We'll kill this guy. And then push this guy back and, and really hopefully frighten them. As well as this dude. We did not frighten them. That person's gonna catch up to us. Um, which means this fight may be all ogre. What if he like just run... Like, way back here. Maybe they'll have to, like, dash to reach us. We'll just skedaddle a little bit. Oh, sure, that works too. I remember in my per first playthrough, I really disliked the Warlock, but only because I didn't use E-Blast and just thought they were a spellcaster with those spell slots. Yeah, that I can see why you would dislike them. Best class is Monk, because Stunning Strike. I mean, Stunning Strike is really good. Um, okay, we can hit this person. We just need a click real good. Yeah, I'll shoot these two. Nice. Getting Frightened off on these two. Very, very nice. Blast this one. Trigger our Bloodless Elixir. And this one. Oh, we pushed it, like, way far out. Um, so these two are frightened, which means they're skipping their next turn. We're also skipping our next turn. Uh, I still think we need a refresher potion of speed. This guy's dead anyways. There's a chance this guy's dead anyways. Let's just hit these two. The duality of man strikes again. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh the potion of speed just to be uh, to be extra safe. I don't think we need to move back though. We'll just uh, use it here. We're doing it. The pathing seems broken with the teleport and the hunger. Yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on with that. But that is you know if the if that counts as cheesing then then I'm a, I'm a cheeser and proud. I don't know, man. Sometimes it's hard to not break the game. Okay. Target is too far. Move closer. Are you for real? Should have moved up. Yeah, whatever. Um, too late for me to get up here? I, I really can't tell. I know there's something up here. Let me click on it. Let me see it. Yeah, we're just going to see what happens if we move up here. It's not cheese cheesing. It's utilizing game mechanics to your advantage. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the game is breaking or if that's just what's supposed to happen. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just keep blasting you backwards. Screw you, man. Hey, double crit hit. That fight went really well. That was like super sick, actually. That was a really, really good showing. I mean, we had to use two potions of speed. 
and of course we had a bloodlust elixir active but and you know bless but you know that was still really good <laughs> Are you not cursed anymore? Yeah, we, we might be overcoming our curse. Oh, so, um, where the hell do you get the covert cow? I <laughs> thought it was somewhere over here. There it is. Just the last one we checked. Uh, so we do lose out on our haste helm, but uh, we get the covert cow. Which, uh, you know, it's um, not the best until we can get uh, a more concrete way to resist the Shadow Curse. But it's still, like, you know, pretty solid. Still really good. Pretty nice. We love the Covert Cowl. What weapon are you using? We have the Club of Hill Giant Strength. And the Knife of the Undermountain King. This is the main one, the Knife of the Undermountain King. Expands our crit range. Uh, okay, so... To get to Moonrise, we need to resist the stronger effects of the Shadow Curse, right? So we need to, um... Oh, this is the- this is, like, north of the thing. Yeah, never mind, this is the wrong way. Um, but yeah, to resist the stronger, what? Did I click on it again? <laughs> okay, stop clicking on it. Uh, to resist the stronger effects of the Shadow Curse, I'm pretty sure we need, uh, we need to get the Pixie Bell to get to Moonrise, right? I mean, we could just jump there, but whatever. We'll do things in the order the game wants us to. Have you ever watched Attack on Titan? Yeah, I'm a big Attack on Titan fan. Go speak with my goat, Isabel. That resists the stronger effects? I thought that was only the lighter effects of it. You can just tell Karnas to give you the lantern and walk into the court curse to not die. That's what we'll probably end up doing, yeah. Can you do that if you go with the... Um, if you go with the Harpers, like the ambush here? Probably. I'm sure I've done that before. We're so close to level 6, dog. Okay, so we got the Covert Cowl. We did that. Uh, we'll save talking to Isabel for later. I want to head to... I, I really want to have the Risky Ring and the Spine Shutter Amulet before then. Just to like really crit all of the like undead goons you know i think that'll be really fun so we're gonna do that yeah we're gonna do carnis first um you mean to reach moonrise, and I've my guy pulled me out of my map the towers is drenched in blackness so deep even a torch cannot quell it are you gonna save the kid um no def definitely not uh Olsen is already dead, so that's not happening. Good to talk to Isabel at some point anyway for the Necro Resist. Yeah, we will, we will. Don't worry. Uh, I just want to get to Moonrise first. You lead, I follow. The words that will never come out of Gunther's mouth. Go on ahead. I'll catch up. As you say, I'll mark your map with the rendezvous point. Don't be long. Our window of chance will close all too quickly. Yeah, Isabel is great. She gets herself killed 90% of the time. Truly the sign of greatness, yeah. Off they go. Keep steady. Closing in. This doesn't count as us following, by the way, guys. I don't think we need to do a short rest for one spell slot. Uh, I mean, the fact we were able to do the Moonlock fight with only one spell slot really boosted my self-confidence, I'm not gonna lie. Um, surely we could just, like, walk down the road a little bit and, and get some more experience, right? 
Surely there's... Whoa, my camera. Surely there's somewhere we could just walk. Oh, my cat's screaming at me. She's so unhappy. I'm sorry, Theodosia. We'll play soon. Uh, I don't want to trigger this fight. Hey, Dionysos. Thanks for the gifted membership. I, I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. I've never done this before. I've never tried to, like, sneak past while the ambush is here. I hope this doesn't break something. Oh. Are you guys gonna, like, reveal me here? Thanks. Come on, experience. Any second now. Any second now, guys. It's it's coming. It's happening. Are you gonna talk the thorns to death? Well, I mean, we'll try. Uh, we'll we're always gonna give it a try. If it, if it works, it works. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I knew it was like right here. Okay. Okay, that's level six. Oh. Gunter, Handshake, Michelle, having NPCs follow them and be their thralls. Exactly. I mean, they're less of our thralls and more like our, uh, you know, workers. The hired help. Uh, I do spell slot. Spells. What, what spell? Hmm. Uh, to be honest with you, I think most of these, like, really aren't that great for us. Like, your spells need to go really far as a warlock, uh, because you only get a couple spell slots. This is a tough one, man. Yeah, probably counter spell. Um... I mean, none of these spells we're really going to use that often, but Counterspell is the only one that's a real, like, get-out-of-jail-free card, you know? Fear is great, good crowd control. Yeah, I mean, we're already going to be, like, frightening people quite a lot. Um, I know this also causes people to run away, but I think we'd rather spend our concentration on Hunger of Hadar at that point if we're going for uh, crowd control. So I think we're just going to go Counterspell. counterspell. Slow is also pretty sick, too. Um, the weird way this, like, really destroys enemies, especially with, like, Frightened and Prone happening, is, is really, really good on this. Um, another thing to note, though, is because our spell save DC is bugged, uh, these spells are, are worse. Especially ones that require spell save DCs. So, I think counter spell is the play. Glow is humanoids only? Are you sure? It says creatures. Anyways, yeah, we'll just go with Counterspell as a kind of like last ditch resort. We also get Entropic Ward. Wow, what a phenomenal ability. Hey, Witchy, how's it going? But yeah, Entropic Ward, uh, not great. It's once per short rest, I think, or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's not phenomenal. Really not great. Glow is, it's only humanoids. Weird, weird. Okay. I will press the accept button. Um, my baby cat is here. Theodosia? Oh, never mind, she left. Sorry, I was gonna show her off to you guys. She's gone. She moved on fast. Yeah, now we need to get back without getting spotted. The crit threshold can get 13 to 20 at max, I think. Yeah, it's going to get pretty, pretty low. Kitty quick time event missed. Yeah, she dipped fast. Okay, please don't, like, spot me and reveal me to the enemies. That would make me sad. Muy triste. Quitty time event. That, yeah, that, that almost works if you squint a little bit. The... I'll do a little quick save. 
And then, is it gonna work if I just like walk here? Do I need to talk to these guys? Oh, good. They don't. They don't call us out. I'm pretty sure I need to like talk to these guys to trigger it. Where do I move up here? Something triggers. Okay. Not moving up there. You need to talk to them. Yeah. You need to unsneak so that you can sneak. Do you even need to sneak? I don't think Karnas arrives until you talk to Branthos regardless. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, in my head, like, it's, we're supposed to be sneaking, you know? Karnas, baby girl. I really don't understand why everybody is so infatuated by Karnas. But I, there's a lot that I don't understand about Baldur's Gate 3 players. We will clear our throat. Make ourselves known. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice. Arachnophilia. Please never say that word in my chat again, bunny. <laughs> oh, God. Harness just looks soft. Are you? My man's like covered in like an exoskeleton. The absolute protected me. Surely this would be a good way to like earn his trust, right? You know, I've never done this before. I kind of want to do this. The peasants have served their purpose. Oh, my baby cat is here. But now we need to show off what's happening on screen, little girl. I really like his voice. Okay, well, that's something more understandable to me. Oh, no, I forgot about this part about Counterspell. I'm gonna... I just turn that off. We'll turn it back on. We'll try and remember to turn it back on for fights where it'll matter. And this is the lady we saved earlier. Okay, well, we got a blast to this person. Can we hit this person too? I don't, I don't think so. Not from down here. Do it like this. That was nice. And then we'll go up here. Screw what's happening on screen. Show us kitty. Sorry, she's gone again. And we'll just shove this guy down. Never mind. We will try to shove him down. Yeah, punch him. Oh. Oh, yeah. And we got, like, the double hit thing that happened because dual wielding is so weird in this game. All those gate three players are freaks. Yeah, no, I'm convinced that they're, like, one of the um, freakiest fan, like, mainstream fan bases for video games that are out there right now. Obviously, there's, like, really weird niche games where people are just entirely freaks, and that's what how the game is still popular, but... She knows you can't show her off, so that's the only time she shows up. I do not think my cat is camera shy. I think she's quite the opposite. I think if she could, she would have the entire world's attention on her all the time. As an Oathbreaker, you can have Karnas as a pet. Yeah, you can like... They broke the ladder. We were going to use that. Whatever. We'll... Oh my god. <laughs> Brother, you're a spider. Surely you don't need the ladder. There should be a Drider mod or something at least. That'd be cool. Like, that lets you play as a Drider. Give it some time. I'm sure modders are gonna make a mod for everything. 
Uh, we will double blast this guy to make sure we get the kill. So we, why did 22 show up here? I don't know, man. Uh, I guess we'll leave that guy to Karnas since he's kind of in the way. Yeah, we'll just blast this person. All right, that's some that's some really good damage. Uh, we're killing it. I hope this um. I hope these guys uh, are convinced by us after this um, to give us the lantern that is. Because this is going to go poorly otherwise. We're kind of dominating this fight. And they're breaking all of our ladders, which has me really sad. But I guess that kind of means that we could just jump up and then the rest of them will have a harder time to get up once we're, uh, once we're up there. Oh good, we're just doing away with the peasants. Yeah, we're we're done with them. Are you gonna kill Isabel? That's the plan, Stan. He just fireballed Karnas, his own ally. He has um the the evocation wizard stuff where he can like sculpt spells so he didn't hit his ally. Incredible jump. Allow me to demonstrate. Sculpt spells. Uh, yeah, let's just jump back up here in case a fight starts up. And also so we can shove this guy off. There he goes. Alright, homie, let's chat. I assume you'll still get the potent robe. That's a lot of assuming. Assu assuming? Assuming you're doing. What? Um, fellas? <laughs> hey, we were in the middle of something. Um, can we try that again? <laughs> They turned on Karnas. Yeah, they, uh... <laughs> it would be pretty funny if they were just like, You know, fuck this guy, I'm done. This <laughs> Karnas has ADHD. <laughs> yeah, for real. Why would one of the queens plus walk with the harpers? I infiltrated their ranks, gathering information for our cause. Seems believable. Yeah, it's pretty believable. Well, we welcome all who follow our holy queen. Are they ready to depart? Hey, Loki, how's it going? Again, the shadows, Majesty. Wait, we don't get to convince him to give us the lantern? Get one from Zarel? Okay. But how are you gonna get down, dog? You broke all the ladders. He only gives it to you if you talk to him before the ambush. Interesting. Oh. Wait, wait, fellas, fellas. Okay, fine, I'll take the damage. Alright, we're going, we're going. Uh, we'll get just the lantern, not the pixie's blessing. Did only this lantern have a pixie in it? I guess so, yeah. Oh, I don't want to have to carry it around. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Zarel uses a dead pixie? What happens if we just like shove him into a pit? Does, 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 does it just go horribly wrong? Okay, apparently we can't shove him into the pit. 
Yeah, if you don't kill Karnas, you don't get the blessing. I did that mistake on my current playthrough. That really sucks. I might just load back to the old save and then, like, convince him to do that then, because... Having to carry around the lantern, not only is it just annoying, uh, but it also fucks with our build. Because we have the covert cowl. I don't think we can really shove this guy that far. This makes me sad. I think I'm just gonna reload the old save. It's nice to know that that's a thing that you could do, but it kind of sucks that that, uh... That ruins it, you know? Friends are all packed together for a perfect cloud of daggers. True. We could try and fight him. Cloud of Daggers, then Misty Step Away. Honestly, I'd probably just Hunger of Adara and then Misty Step Away. Uh, or Misty Step Away and then Hunger of Adara, rather. Could always save here, and if you win this fight, keep it. Otherwise, go back. See, the problem is, now we don't have much of a story reason to do this. Because, like, I mean, other than just, like, we want the lantern for ourselves, we don't like relying on other people. I guess that, that works for me, you know? Yeah, let's just, um... It's an annoying use of Misty Step, especially to get, like, get back here. But this is too good of a spot to do this. Okay, screw it. Whatever. We'll give it a whirl. Did I save already? Who knows? Uh, the indicator's not really working great here. That's, um... That's a bummer. Yeah, we'll move back a little bit, and then we'll try and drop a Hunger of Adar. I don't think we're going to do it on Karnas, but we'll do it on the rest of these guys. Get it so that they're, like, relatively on the edge. Oh, that looks about right. Hopefully that's not getting us, too. I, I, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> okay. I mean, what just happened to my hunger? <laughs> oh, he's zooming. Holy shit, he's zooming. That was fast. And we can't push him back. That's not good. Uh, that's really not good. I think we're going to turn off our Repelling Blast here. So that these guys don't get pushed out of the Hunger of Hadar. Maybe we move up to the edge here and hope Karnas stays inside of it. He, yeah, he, he's really zooming. I kind of want to try and kill this guy, honestly. It's trigger our, our Bloodlust Elixir. Use Void Bulb to push Karnas back. See, the problem is he's got Sanctuary right now. So we... Oh, wait. He only has it for one turn? Is he going to just keep refreshing it, though? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm going to try and kill this guy. Dang it. I knew we were kind of counting on a crit there. But that's what this build's all, all about. Um... Uh... He refreshes it every other turn. Interesting. Okay, we, I don't really want to push him off the edge because we want his lantern. And I don't know if it's one of those items that like teleports back up. We'll just, we'll just move back. Okay.
If it isn't my favorite warlock. Yeah, Gunther's having a heck of a time. Thanks sure he shouldn't block AoE from Void Bulb, right? Yeah, yeah you know, it, it wouldn't block AoE from Void Bulb. I'm just wondering about... Like, I... When I say the problem is he's got Sanctuary up, it's Void Bulb doesn't do much for us. Because sure, we pull him back into the Hunger of Hadar, but then we're still not going to be able to hurt him. Ideally, we we just have him break his Sanctuary. Um, or just, just do that. Whatever the hell that was. Okay, now we, now we return the Repelling Blast back on. <sighs> yeah, with Potent Robe, Karnas always gives you the Lantern, really. That's good to know. Okay. No Frightens for us. Fuck it. I mean, if it ain't broke... Moon Lantern is a story item, so it should teleport back up, but, you know, don't trust me with that. Yeah, I mean, better better safe than sorry. Plus, if this is working, this is working, you know? If it ain't broke. What the? <laughs> okay. Oh, he's getting blocked by these guys. He can't move because of these guys. That's what's happening here. The Sanctuary block area of effect spells such as Hunger of Hadar. Sorry, I just saw the chat catch up to that guy jumping. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, Sanctuary does not block a AoE effects. It only blocks targeted effects. I also... Um, okay, never mind. I did not forget to recast Shovel. Shovel... Target is too far. That's kind of rude. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll try and kill this guy. I, I believe in our ability to kill this guy. And we frightened Karnas. Phenomenal. And we frightened this guy. Oh, God bless, man. This build's working. Things are happening. Hopefully this guy doesn't fireball us. Things are happening. And our DC-12 Hunger of Hadar is, like, actually dealing damage. Oh, it's DC-15! No, that's our, that's our mortal reminder. Um, yeah, our Hunger of Hadar is still DC-12. I think he jumped back because he walked into the curse effect. Effect, not saying it was smart, but there was a reason. Oh, interesting. That makes sense, though. Um... Okay, we would like to spend time shooting Karnas this turn. So that's what we'll do. Get frightened again, you buffoon. Imbecile. Sorry, I'm, I'm being mean now. I'm just straight up... Oh no, he got knocked out of the Hunger of Adar. Whatever. Another crit hit anyways. We're killing it, guys. Oh, the build's coming together. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Good things are happening. Okay. Um, yeah, let me click on him. Let me click on you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done pushing uh, Karnas for now. You know, it's just getting awkward. Good things are good things are happening here though. Okay. Ooh, wow. Ah! <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay, now we turn the push back on. He did not get knocked prone from that. Okay. He's a-coming. You guys see that little, like, moonwalk he did for a second? That was interesting. Maybe I should have... Oh, we got knocked prone. Maybe I should have, um... Gotten more potions of speed before we did this. Just to be, like, safe, you know? I feel like those are really good things for us to have. I like how he is no longer, um, 
I like how he's no longer... What's the word? Using his sanctuary. That makes me really happy. Oh, sorry if you guys heard my phone buzz. The goo fear is around the target. It's really good. Yeah, it is. It is really nice. Did not get knocked prone there, uh, which means he's going to get out of our hunger of Adar this turn. Fo show. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Oh, our hunger of Adar ran out. That was also a possibility that I, I forgot about. Turns out spells do have turn limits. Hopefully we can take it from here. Uh, we'll see. I'm a little scared still, if I'm being honest with you guys. Because of of that. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fast guy. What's your deck save like, home dog? Pretty good. Uh, we could call lightning. Our chance to hit with this is not great. Yeah, this is this is a big oh no. I think our bonus action is always gonna get spent on this. Yeah, that's that's tight. And then we blast. Just go for it, you know. Ah, oh, that's really bad. Hopefully we can get that going again. Home dog. Yeah, you like how I say home dog. Oh, that's bad. Uh, so now we need to consider what to do. We could do this and then try and run away. We could uh, void bulb to push him away. We could... Mm. Man, if we die after all of this, I'm going to be hecka sad. I, I don't feel good about using spell save DC spells anymore. Like, this bug is, is killing me, you know? Take a look at our scrolls. He can be hold person. He's not a humanoid. They changed that. He's a monstrosity now. I think he's in kill range for E-Blast. The math does not math on that one. Blinding him would be really, really nice, but it's just... Oh, man. The spell save DC thing is really upsetting me. So he only gets his multi-attack if you're under max health. Um, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So at least he's not multi-attacking us. I think I just call lightning. No, but that's a spell save DC one too. That's not going to do like any damage. Do you have a fog cloud? I don't think I do. No, I don't have a darkness scroll. Do I have darkness arrows? No, that would have popped up there too. Do I have... No, I don't have the spell slot elixirs. I don't have a lot, huh, fellas? We could shock and grasp and run away. I think that's the play, honestly. I think that is the play. Problem is, he's going to catch up to us anyways, so maybe the play is just go for two Eldritch Blasts. Yeah, fuck it. Not another crit miss. I was, I was shit-talking in Tropic Ward. I take it all back. I take it all back. Okay, we go for the shove again. This always happens. Hell yeah. And then we go for this. Hell yeah. And then we start walking up this place. What's in Tropic Ward? That was our level 6 goo feature. Yes! Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We got this in the bag. Surely we win from here. 
but yeah, it's a level six gulag feature that lets us. Um... Oh no! Be careful when moving around this man. No. Okay, we only need to hit once. Maybe I should have just gone for melee hits there. Maybe that was the play. Is this five to eight damage? He has five health. Does he have any damage reduction? I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll throw a bomb. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. We'll throw a bomb. I wish it would show the explosion radius on this. That would make me happy. Call lightning. You're so right. You're so right. Call lightning. This is what it was made for. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no, the DC is good too. That's the right DC. That's some low ass damage, dude. Ban yeah, ban the guy who said call lightning. Okay, he still misses. That's okay. Alright, there you go. Apparently <laughs> it was not made for that, yeah. That's uh that's pretty good. Alright. <laughs> that's just sad, yeah. Protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within That was nerve wracking. It was me. Oh no. Sometimes malicious. See, I don't even think it was you. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Okay. We'll release the pixie. I think the spell save DC bug might only be on Hunger of Adara. Maybe test it with other spells. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I don't know if I've tried it with other spells. Um, yeah, we'll give it a whirl. Did you do Hag? Yeah, we did. Sure, I can. But will I? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here. If you were to play Dragonborn for a lone wolf, which class would you play? Um, maybe Paladin. I don't know. A class that doesn't need anything from any like additional help. You know. Because Dragonborn does not give any additional help. That's the sad truth. Not what I expected to run Release the pixie doesn't sound very evil. It's, uh... Well, I mean, we're, we're a pragmatic evil, you know? We made a deal with her. She gives us protection from the Shadow Curse. And we she gets to go free. Gonna unequip that. And then re-equip this. And then, oh no, the light's still on it. How do I get rid of the light? If I drop it, no. Is it just here until long rest? Unlight. Okay, what if I equip this? Equip this. Cast a light on this weapon. And then re-equip this and this. There you go. Problem solved. And then we get to throw on our covert cowl. Meaning, we get an extra expanded crit range whenever we're in darkness. You are lawful evil like the chief of corporation, not chaotic evil like a sociopath. Exactly, yeah. And then, re-put my ring back on. And we'll take a short rest. Get Shovel back. Welcome back, Shovel. You missed out on a, a nail-biting fight. Where you actually might have made the difference. Okie doke. Does Shovel have the Pixie Blessing? Okay, Shovel does. Thank God. That double betrayal was great. It was quite the double whammy, yeah. It was, um... It's gonna be interesting to work in story-wise, but, uh... We'll make it happen.
How have you learned Summon Shovel as a spell? It's just something the Warlocks can do. Warlocks, uh, I think Draconic Sorcerers, maybe Wild Magic Sorcerers too, and can Wizards can do it. Do Dragonborn born feed their young via That's regurgitation? Boring. I sure hope not. Wild Magic Scares Shovel? Yeah, okay. Just Draconic Sorcerer then, I guess. Gundra killed the Harper and the Drider because they both tried to tell him where to go. Headcanon true. Uh, Minthara sent me. No, that implies that, that we're here on Minthara's behalf, which even implied we don't like that. That's for your superiors to know. You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Alrighty. New Dragonborn Breath ability just dropped Regurgitation. A 1D uh, 1D8 healing. Awful. No yeah, you do need to talk to Shovel an extra time to, to be able to get the ability to resummon her, but... Oh no, shovel was revealed. Okay, we will we will get this cutscene out of the way, and then we'll do what we came here for. I will not be slandered, General. You saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. I agree with Nightbot. You guys should go join our Discord server. That would be pretty cool of you. Dragonborn breath ability based on what you ate for long rest. If you have fire breath, it gets really powerful. Fire or acid breath gets like, or poison breath gets really strong after you drink uh, uh, just nothing but alcohol for your long rest. Recently tried to get four shovels in honor mode, but I failed miserably and only got two shovels. Pathetic. What will you do to Mandara erase her? I don't think Gunter is that petty. We'll likely just like, you know, let things go how they will here. But Mandara's kind of like, you know, she's her usefulness has expired. We will stay silent, simply watching. Sorry, Jerry. I feel like you're always here for this scene, Jerry. I'm so sorry. Every time, man. <laughs> True. Ultimate failure must earn ultimate punishment. Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. Rip. Make her passing slow, disciples. Minthara is your lawful evil sister. There's only room for one law. If, law blah, blah, blah. Only room. Oh my god! I, I'm giving up on that sentence. I tried. <laughs> yeah, we don't really care about her at this point. Watch and say nothing. Apparently, they fixed Mantara being naked in this cutscene. If you loot her, she now just wears camp outfit. That's for the best. Yeah. Kill the goblins too. I love the delivery on that line. I do miss the music in this scene, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh it gets hella hella good here. <laughs> you can have every individual party member provide their magic wielder like wizard warlock sork, but I only use wizard for this. Talk to shovel, and if you choose the right dialogues, everyone I'm assuming that and everyone can get a free shovel. That's really awesome, yeah. I like that. What's the point of his armor if he died to that? I mean I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a cutscene, you know, armor is less impressive in a cutscene. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, 
put that true that was savage he said try again oh i know it's so good it's so good it's pretty you're right it is pretty armor cool factor fashion maybe the drip yeah what's the point of him wearing armor when he regenerates yeah i mean it's the drip for sure you heard the general the goblins are yours deal with them however you wish Not currently. Here in the seat of the absolute's power, your authority over In your opinion, which is better, Fiend, Goo, or Archfey? I think Fiend is probably best. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Just for like general purposes, you know? You gotta help me! The extra temp HP on every single kill is, is really, really nice, especially at higher levels if you go like mono warlock. But even with like low level warlock, it's just like a one level dip for you know, assuming you're doing a charisma build, like, 6 temp HP every... Well, you'd probably go up to Eldritch Invocation, so, like, 7 temp HP every kill. Pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. Goo is much better than Fiend, in my opinion, unless you never make attack rolls. The crit fright... I mean, the crit frighten is amazing for crit builds. But if you're not going for a crit build, I, it just doesn't happen enough, in my opinion. Um... We'll probably just do this, you know? Please. Help me. It's such a good shot there. The seat of the absolute's power. Hey, we got inspiration for that. Hell yeah. Gotta be strict with the lower class. Okay, now we, must learn more we go get our risky ring. What's up for discussion? Will you be doing any crit hitting soon, or do you plan to continue crit missing? I ideally, crit hitting. Truant, do the secret well cutscene, the the wall cutscene. Yeah, I mean. I don't think we'd let her take our blood. We'll just show 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 me your stock. Give me the risky ring. Advantage on attack rolls, disadvantage on saving throws. We lose her on three meters of move speed taking this, and we've also just lost our haste down. So we have become significantly slower in the last couple items. But I mean, like, advantage on all attack rolls. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that quite a lot. We'll take those while we're at it. Um, take a couple of these. A couple of these. Take a bomb. I like having at least one bomb, you know, just in case. And then we're gonna go get the spine shutter amulet. I feel like given past records, crit missing is much more likely. I, 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 we're, we're getting better at hitting. We're getting better and better. We have advantage on every single attack. 100% chance to hit that door. 85% chance to hit shovel. 96% chance to hit Araj Obladara. Obladora? Okay. Did we get a key for- I, I feel like I remember getting a key from- from talking to Zarel here that lets us like further in. I don't know. I'm gonna talk- talk- yeah, I'm gonna talk to her anyways. Don't practice on Shovel. <laughs> don't worry, we won't. Shovel is a loyal servant. I'm trying a Radiate Orb run. That, that's a really good build. Yeah, very, very strong. Are you gonna kill the prisoners? We don't have much of a reason to kill the prisoners. Do a flip? I don't think we can. I wish you could romance Zarel. Man, if it were up to Baldur's Gate 3 players, every NPC would be romanceable. Where is the music from? This is Cult of the Lamb music. Through your mind, 
as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Gulak has a special cutscene where you do the wall tentacles thing. Okay, we'll do the wall tentacles thing. I just want to get the spine shutter amulet first. I'm eager. A child could have done it. I probably did do that as a child. What a fine child it would be. <laughs> I don't like the way she says that. What a fine child. It's like, ugh, ugh. I wish you could romance the editor caps. So real for that. Think about what all them arms do. Actually, I think they only have two arms. But I don't know. Distract her by drawing her toward your hunger for power. Yeah, I can do that. Caution. Hesitation. You fear power even when it's offered freely. How did you get that from my hunger for power? I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave Elder brain romance. Yeah, I can see that. Good for you. How do I get what I want? I wish you could romance the giant tentacle that comes out of the roof. Yeah, I mean, what that tentacle will do. We know it can teleport and it can smash real good. What else can it do? What other hidden talents does it have? Well, it so happens that I have a price. Okay, well, now she's got to go. Greater value than any price you could name. Be wise. Obey. Okay, we're not going to attack her here, though. There is a relic that General Thorn requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the okay. family Okay, I tend to avoid reading out these styles of, of messages, but, um... Gunter's left beard braid, smash or pass. It's just, uh, it's just iconic, honestly. It is something that General Thorne desires. Gonna go and watch the eclipse? Have fun. Let us know how it goes. Yeah. Have fun to all the eclipse watchers. I really wish that it was, like, more visible here. You know, more, more visible than 26%. Talking of this relic makes you anxious. Why is that? Hmm? Oh my god. That's a that's a good persuasion check. We really wanted to know. I am in awe of the power Can't watch the eclipse is cloudy. Oof, bummer. That's the worst, man. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. Do a run where you're just asking everyone you can for money. That's like the Disco Elysium run. Just play as um I almost said his name, but I don't really want to spoil the main character's name for anybody who hasn't played that game yet. It's a really good game. Um, Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. The homeless beggar run. With you. Called the Max Asterian approval run. Okay, understood. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep. Tequila Sunset playthrough. Yeah, let's go with that. It's a Tequila Sunset playthrough. Do I really need the glasses to look at the eclipse? I mean, uh, assuming you don't want to like have a ring emblazoned into your vision whenever you look at anything for the next like five years. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. So the spine shutter ring is a mimic. Somewhere over yonder. I'm gonna raw dog the eclipse for real. Alright. Well. Good luck. Okay, I don't remember which chest is the mimic. Is it this? What if I just shoot, like, every chest, huh? Hey, why'd you open the door? That's hella rude. I'm gonna do shit in here. Leave me to it. 
I'd totally watch you play Disco Elysium in your editing style. That would be sick. I see the problem is I've already played it. Um, okay, it is not that chest. You're in the wrong room. Well, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> I'm just, I was just gonna go around shooting every chest for no reason. Um, is it this room? It's not in Balthazar's room. Is it in Kethrick's room? What room is it in? Okay, hold up. Let me. Let me the chest is the small corner room that has a passageway onto the rafters. The, the, this room? Okay. We'll go that way then. So if I pull this lever, like smoke fills the room or something? Something weird happens? No, this is the one that opens the door. That shit smoke fills the room. It's been a while since I've been up here, so, so bear with me. Isn't this like really hard to pick though? That's DC 30. Uh, I, I do not bet I can crack that open. What if I go this way? Well, this doesn't look helpful. One of the doors out of the dog room. Okay. Oh, no. We've gone too high. We've gone too high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, but this goal seems very replayable. I mean, you've already played Baldur's Gate 3 too. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know. A lot of the appeal, uh, at least for me, was... Um, okay, how the hell do we get over there? Do we have a scroll of knock? I don't think we do. Those scrolls are hard to come by, man. There's dudes in here. There's another entrance. Where? Is it like if I jump up here? And I climb up to the rafters and then jump up here? Is that what you're talking about? There's another door on the landing outside. Oh, like the, the one over here with the DC-30 lock? You can navigate on the rafters to a hole in the floor on the corner room. Okay. Try that. Go up to the rafters. In the mage's room, there's a door to the outside. Yeah, that's the one with the DC-30 lock. I, I don't believe in our ability to do that. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, let's head up onto the rafters. Which I also need to remember how to do. Not this way. This way. Get the knock scroll for it? I... Yeah, I mean, we could go get, the, like, the guaranteed knock scroll. Um, I'm kind of worried that we will need Balthazar's help. But we'll just try doing this first. Somebody says we can jump up into the corner room, and then we'll do the wall thing. Don't don't you guys worry. Can you break the door? I don't think so. I didn't see a health bar. I don't recall seeing a health bar. How how do I jump up though? Like how do I how do I see above us? Wouldn't it be like right above here, or is it? What? You don't jump up. You find a climbable spot on the other side. Oh, over here. I see. Maybe I should have saved first, or at least snuck or something. Oh, there's an auto save. There you go. Okay. Thanks, guys. We got there. Okay, that's that's a mimic right there. That's a perception failed. I think I I think I picked the lock the first time I came here. I must have. Cause I don't remember that at all. All right, let's fight this mimic. Pew pew. Okay, it was sturdy, and so we couldn't hurt it. But now it's not sturdy, bro. You should just like turn back into that at the end of every turn.
wooden chest 50 hp not this at all i mean that was just a regular wooden chest because now it's got 75 hp <laughs> um oh no this is this is bad we no longer can hurt it would it have been better if i like let it surprise us oh god it's coming Okay, we have a 99% chance to hit. I sure hope this works. It worked! It's frightened. Wait a second. I have gotten here by going around. I'd gone like up and then... Oh, there's another way up here, isn't there? Are these roots I can climb? Maybe not, no. Sorry, fellas, I'm losing my mind. Um, Let's see what's out here. Wait, it's frightened. We'll just turn the corner so it can't hit us. I'm getting distracted. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted. It's immune to prone. Cheating. God, I love the risky ring already. Never mind, I hate it. No crits. I only love it if it gives me crits. The ADHD is winning hard right now. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. Spine Shutter Amulet. That's pretty cool. I like that quite a lot. I really like that. When the wearer deals damage with a ranged spell attack, inflicts two reverberation upon the target. Very nice. And a stained letter. Does this give us like extra dialogue options to Isabel? Can we just like roll up to her and be like, we're gonna kill you. Also, we read that your mother loves you forever. <laughs> Give me the Spine Shutter Amulet. So that's pretty cool. We like that quite a lot. We now inflict uh, a lot of reverberation every time we shoot people. You plan on killing Isabel? Yeah, we are going to kill Isabel. Um, yeah. Let me check my my Wii item list here, because I think that's pretty much everything we're going to get this stream. Yep, the only items we have left that we're interested in in Act 2 are the Dark Justicier gear. Is there a lore reason, or do you just want to kill them all? I mean, the lore reason is that we want... We want the blessing from Isabel, which we were told about. And then Marcus is going to show up, and he's going to be like, Hey, Catherine wants Isabel. And then we'll be like, I... <laughs> that's, that's the lore reason. Is there a hidden passageway into Catherick's room? Like, similar to this one? Probably not. I feel like since his room is being, like, actively used, he probably would fix a hole in the floor. Is there a lore reason the Dream Guardian is Alt Steve Harvey? It's because with the randomized button. It's with the randomized button decreed. Okay, this goes hard though. Tell me that doesn't go hard. If I had the camera mod, this would be ideal thumbnail material. Try. There's a door you can walk in the mimic room. Try Eldritch blasting it. Okay. We are very shiny, yeah, we're glowing quite a lot. This one? Oh, god, I don't even know what that was gonna examine. Let's check the, the lockpick DC real quick. Would be cool if he wasn't short, wow, okay. What's this short king hatred? Oops. Okay, we, we might actually have a good chance to lockpick this one. Wah. Wow, Luigi. Okay. We're not going to use our inspiration on that. Um, let's see what happens if we blow this up. Is 
his dog. Uh, so that dog's gonna call for reinforcements if we don't kill it, like, real fast. So... I don't think we're gonna... You can talk to the dog? Oh, shit. Surely we can persuade the dog. Let's see what happens. If you talk to Isabel first, the dog is friendo. Interesting. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. Whoops. I accidentally snuck again. These are the general's private quarters. No one scratches ball. Okay, well, I just gotta know what this does. <laughs> what is this devious grin? What was that? Do you take me for a teething pup? Get that out of my face. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Whichever whelp owns that thing smells. Happy. Aww. Safe. I've not scented such a thing since I was flesh. Since my master brought me back. This place smells wrong. <laughs> That's a big aw moment. This yeah, aw. Replaced by bootlickers and beasts. Yeah, you should be able to adopt her. I agree with that one. So Screw all the, the, the everybody being like, you should be able to romance this person or that person. Just let me adopt this dog. That's what I want. It's so fucked up. Oh, um. We'll, 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 we'll lie to the dog. itself cannot release you from that duty now be about your business whatever it you is. should be able to, okay okay i'm not gonna read out that one <laughs> yeah are you just gonna like let me like read this shit i guess so after that i believe our business will be concluded a different life a better life awaits man catherick is just, just a sad sack huh bad times all around so I don't have a lockpick to open this chest, um, which is a little Ako Taco. That's a really good chest, the Wargfang and Hyena Ear. Just a nameless potion. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll take that. We'll take potion. Try petting it. Yeah, let, me, let me see if we can do that. Would it be alright if I gave you a scratch? I just tuned in. Did you just hear you... Did... I, I'm assuming you meant, did I just hear? Did I just hear you want to adopt a dog over romancing a character? Yeah, of course. That's enough. That was, that was tight. That was sick. I love potion. Robin. Robin, enough of that behavior. Um, well, I guess we, uh, I guess we don't get a read... I wonder. This is sick to have in your bedroom. Just a little, like, circle of bones, a couple skeletons. Who's this guy? <laughs> He's got a guy above his, uh, <laughs> above his bed. <laughs> Deal the chest? Can we deal enough damage to break it? No. Not really, no. Not without force vulnerability. Um, I'll tell you what, gang. We will, um... We'll go buy some lockpicks and then come back up here real quick. Just because I feel like it gives us a story excuse to be up here, you know? Why does Gethric have a bone nest? Does he lay eggs? Who knows, man? Throw it? That might have been a good idea, you yeah. know. All right, I know you sell some good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. Three lockpicks. 
surely that's enough. And we'll buy some of these. Um, I don't hate having one of these or one of those. Uh, is there anything else that we really care about? Not too much. I think that's good for us for now. We'll talk to this guy too. If you have coin, took a liking to you, did she? He does not have the good stuff that we're looking for. Breaks her toys once she did. Okay, uh, let's go open up that chest and then we'll do the wall cut scene because I promised I would do that and then we'll go talk to Isabel and we'll do that and then we will do the the, the thorn people in the village we'll go beat up the village folk they've got a new landlord in town this is the wrong side the helmet is pretty good but I like our current helmet more I'm so bad at buying things, I just started Act 3 with 9,000 gold. I mean, hey, Act 3 is the act to spend money in. If you don't need to buy things, don't buy things. You know, just be be a little good saver. Most of the good stuff you can't buy? Uh, well, I mean, maybe not in the earlier acts. Well, I don't know, there's still some, like, a lot of good stuff to buy. The Risky Ring, the Cloak of Protection. You're cool, oh no. That's not what I meant to do, but that was really good. Um, but yeah, there's some like really good... I don't know, there's some good stuff like scattered throughout the game. Neat. Okay, so this, this is our story reason for being up here. We're, we're gaining some intel on our enemies. Change Shovel's name? I like Shovel's name. You know, we'll, 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 we'll keep, keep this. We'll show it to him later. He's gonna be, he's gonna come home. He's gonna like try and cry himself to sleep like he usually does. Um, and then he's gonna look for his letter and he's gonna be, be unable to find it. He's gonna be so confused. He's gonna be so upset. And then we'll just roll up at the end of the game and being like, your wife would have hated you. And <laughs> just really fuck with him. Pull out the letter to prove it. We have the receipts. Can't change Shovel's name unless they've got another party member to do it? Oh, because I guess we've, we've already decided to not do that? Interesting. If you change Shovel's name and then talk to her with a different character, she says some asshole changed it. That's pretty funny. Okay, wall cutscene. Who puts his cloak in a letter that important in the same chest? I mean, what are you going to do? Just like... Of the chest, like a massive chest filled with one letter. Maybe he had like the letter buried under the the cloak. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Oh, the minus one to intelligence really kicked in there. Don't worry, we're gonna stick our hand in it, yeah. Ever thought about playing either Divinity Original Sin? I played Divinity Original Sin 2. I enjoyed it, but not nearly as much as Baldur's Gate 3. Maybe I'll, like, live stream it one day, but I, um... I'm very content just playing Baldur's Gate 3 for now. I do... I think before I do any other games, though... Like, if I were to play other games, I would probably play the first two Baldur's Gates on stream. I think that would be a fun time. No way he reached anything with that short at arm. Man, you guys are really on the Short King hatred today. Ooh, we have a great old one specific option here. Invite the presence in. There's always room for one more. You know, I'll, I'll choose it just to see what it's like. It's Gunter's goo hole, yeah. 
Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 did not age well. No, I don't expect to, like, really enjoy them that much. But I think it would be fun to, to like, do on stream. People can see my live reaction. We can experience... I'm sure a lot of people haven't experienced it before, so we could experience it together. I'm Gunter Gumli the third. Does Goom does Goo plus Stormy Clamor Boots trigger on every attack for you too? Yes, it does. Very weird. I don't know, um, but I'm you know not not gonna look a gift boot in the mouth. I started playing original Baldur's Gate. Holy shit, I've never loved turn-based more. Having to pause every three seconds is rough. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. Is that who you are? Who are you? The same as the character creation? Yeah, who knows? If the Elder Brain was romanceable, this would definitely be where it did start. Interesting take. Wow, I missed this whole thing. Yeah, I've never seen it before either. What do you mean, I'm the flaw? I've never been a flaw before in my life. Why is the Absolute telling us this? I guess she wants to be free, huh? Old halflings are shadow druids? I, I've heard. Hmm, I was hoping we'd get to talk to her more. Shadow druid money gang. We love casting spells. Uh, what are we best at here? Probably dexterity. Oh, we get we wait we get risky ring with this. I mean we gotta go we gotta go risky ring. DC zero. I'm willing to bet we achieve this. Yeah, let's go risky ring. Absolutely love Goo plus Stormy Clamor. Now as all the enemies fall prone, prime for Dexedin and Monk. Yeah, I know it's really, really good. You did well to pull away from it. I stepped away for three minutes. What have you gotten into? Hole. No. Its telepathic force was unlike anything I've ever. No. This is a failure. This is what happens when you when you fail a check. You not when you roll a twenty on it. What the hell? The DM's just spiting us. Man, that sucks. That's probably why it was a DC zero. That's just mean, dude. That's hella rude. Well, I... Now I gotta take a long rest. We're gonna lose out on the bless, which kind of sucks, but, uh... Yeah, that's just, that's just rude. Okay, we'll take a long rest and then we'll go chat up Isabel. I find it hard to make the e uh, I find it hard to make the evil decisions because I'm so obviously scared of the immediate consequences. Yeah, I mean a lot of the time it is just like worse, unfortunately. Do our daily check for Volo, see if he's decided to show up yet. Doesn't look like it. What class is next? I'm excited for Sorcerer. I've actually, so I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, I actually think I'm going to do the honor mode run next. I know I, it's like a little different from the schedule that I said I would do, where I do like three class challenges and then a unique run. But, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know, a lot of people have been asking for it and I've been, I've been testing honor mode a little bit and I think, I think I could do it like pretty quickly. And I think... With how the you know the viewer base of the live streams are raking in uh, regularly, like I, I I don't know if honor mode is going to be better or worse. Um, but 
Yeah, I think I can afford to like take a week to just do honor mode instead of working on other videos, you know? Streamer tired of being asked about honor? Honestly, a little bit, yeah. A little bit. The Bob, yeah. I almost dare not rest. I love being a, an evil fucked up guy, TBH. I mean, hey, whatever does it for you. Just found out that a parliamentary candidate in my country was removed from running after expressing support for cannibalism. That's probably for the best um, that they were removed, that is. You won't give up, will you? Of course not. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. Yeah, case, I haven't killed Isabella's dirge, haven't played it fully through. Friends have lives, exactly, you. yeah. Unfortunately. It's the hard part with multiplayer playthroughs. But Resisting Urge is so fun, I refuse to separate my favorite immortal slash necromanced gay couple. Resisting Urge is a fun build, for sh or like a fun playthrough, for sure. I won't let that happen. I know. I'm glad you're on Damn, Dream Guy is daddy. I do really like Becoming Balls it's Chosen. Fair. I think that's very fun, yeah. Why would they do that anyway? Cannibalism is so niche. It is kind of a weird thing to do. Like, how did that come up in politics? Like, who's just like, you, you, at the parliament being like, you know, I think we should have more cannibals around. I think we should eat more people. And how do you expect that to go well? <laughs> The thing about cannibalism and candidate, uh, remember me about the fact, rem reminds me about the fact that Netherlands ate their first minister in the past. That's wild. <laughs> ballist politician, yeah. She wanted that uh, ballist armor for sure. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I really need to use the loo, as the Brits say. We're gonna we're gonna have a bunch of music going now. You're gonna get Call to the Lamb mixed with with the uh, the Queen's High Seas. So, BRB. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. Crash is tweaking, my god. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, thank you. I really appreciate that. Hey, cohesive placebo. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? We were gonna talk to Isabel. 
Which is better, Warlock Paladin or Warlock Fighter for Will? Warlock Paladin is a much stronger combo, in my opinion. That's what I'm planning on doing for the Honor Mode run, actually. Okay, back to Isabella. It's kind of sad seeing, seeing all the buffs gone. You know what? I am going to take another Bloodlust Elixir. Gonna make this upcoming fight go a lot smoother. This is the wrong way. How did the ox make it here? The tieflings didn't... How did the ox... Survive... Well, you know what, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> We're moving on. Ruins livestream is the new Tinder. Why? Why is that happening? It doesn't need to be. He has his ways. Yeah, no kidding. Befriend the ox. You know, maybe we'll do the ox stuff in, in one of my playthroughs. Oh, sup, homie. You just, like, waiting in here? He's, he's ready, dude. He's so ready. He makes his way there anyway, no tieflings necessary. Well, yeah, I mean, I gathered that. I'm much so curious as, like, how, you know? Like, I can't imagine the goblins were just gonna, like, let uh, a nice meaty-looking ox chill in a camp that they were raiding, you know? I thought they were like, you know, we'll just let that one ox go, but we'll, we'll eat some dwarves instead or something. My old friend. Oh. Isn't he ooze? Well, yeah, I know he's ooze, but the goblins don't know that. The ox will even survive uh, last light once you've been invited to last light. I don't understand. Um, you're vouching for me? Mm, no, we're not going to say thank you. Are we the only true souls in this place? I don't mind sharing. The slime can transform into anything, so maybe he transforms into a goblin to flee. I, I like that. That's my new head cannon. Yeah. That's how I get over this. Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I don't mind sharing the glory, but I do. No, that's fine. We don't really care about the glory from Catherick, you know? What is your mission here? The Salunite cleric that guards this place. General Thorne wants her alive. Hey, Truant, love your stuff. Glad to catch a stream. Thanks, Tim. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're here, too. Thanks for the information. I'll take your guts now. I, I hope she'll see reason. But if that fails, I'll have to initiate more extreme measures. And I'll expect your help in the fight. What if we say this? I'm curious. I'm curious. I won't waste time in a petty tug of war. Okay, that's more or less what I thought would happen. Not to say the same thing, but this is my first stream here. Just subscribe to your vids are great. Thank you. No, I really appreciate it. It's, um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is like egotistical of me to say or something. Uh, but I really do like hearing messages like that. Like it really does make it easier to keep going. Um, I get really self-conscious about my videos. Like, it's scary making anything, you know? Um, and putting it out there and being like, hey, check this out. Uh, this is, you know, important to me. This is me trying my best to make something. And it, it's just nice to know that people actually like it. All right. Failure won't be tolerated. We just need to show them who's, who's boss. Isabel's on the balcony. Should be nearly done with her prayers. Feels like there's only punishments for being evil. Yeah, I mean... Past, like, I think past, like, the ball cult stuff, it feels like there's pretty much only punishments, yeah. Um, we'll have Shovel be invisible, you know, why not? We'll do a wee quick save. Hey, I'm here for your blessing. There is a whole Discord server simping for you. <laughs> I mean, I... The Discord server definitely does help. Well, like whenever I get like lost and lost in the in the anxiety sauce, 
It's like, oh yeah, there is a Discord server with like 500 people of uh, people who presumably like my content. Like that's probably a pretty safe bet. It's also just a nice little community we have too. Like I like talking with pretty much everybody there. Um, just hanging out. It's always a fun time. I wish I could do it more often, but my, my social battery is not a great one. Especially online, you know? I don't know. I don't know why, but I feel like I do better in person. You're the only streamer I regularly join the stream for. I usually get bored after like 10 minutes. That's really nice to hear. Thank you. I'm only simping for potent robes. Understandable. You're coming with me, cleric. How do you figure that? I think it's a little weird that becoming an unholy assassin in Act 3 has no downsides besides companions just saying hope that was worth it. Yeah, that's that's the one reason why I think it's like the only stuff that you, you don't get punished for being evil. But it is weird to me too that you don't get punished for that one. Because you join a murder cult, but... Change or charge the battery then? You're so right. What am I thinking? You're the only person who streams I watch, so you're my favorite. Perfect. Even not just kinda Thank like them. That's really Perfect. nice to hear, Robin. The shadow curse, which will get you closer I do kind of wish there was more going for the evil run, like the goblins actually replacing the tieflings in terms of vendors and stuff. That would be cool too. I would like that, yeah. The cultists are able to traverse even the deep. I did not stream in the last four or five years, came back this year just for you. <laughs> Hell yeah, Oswaldo. Thank you. I don't think killing a floating elephant counts as an evil act. Well, it's just like a celestial who was trying to help people. Um, and, you know, there's also like the way you get in. I don't think it's not an evil act. Let's say that much. Um, if I say this, does this count as me betraying Marcus? Like, or does that just start things off? Anything else I should know before heading off? But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. Yeah, like Marcus. Get him, Marcus. I'll be sure to. Marcus. Oh, he heard me. He heard me. <laughs> Isabel, I've just gotten word. I need you to come with me. Do you hear his orders? Come with you. I guess because the detective is incompetent. If she wasn't such of an ass, she would have lived. Yeah, I mean, she is definitely incompetent, but I, I don't. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I'm like. A pussy or something but i don't think being incompetent is like you know makes you worthy of being sacrificed to an evil murder call <laughs> i mean i think we we have to not choose the warlock option this time no time to waste we should follow marcus Oh dang it! She saw through us. What fools you both are! will never give you what Tru is it, Truant isn't the only streamer I watch, but definitely in my top five Baldur's Gate three solo run streamers whose name starts with a T from the U.S. I'm not from the U.S. though. You have, you must have me mistaken for a different Baldur's Gate three solo run streamer whose name starts with a T. <laughs> I mean, her incompetence is causing murder to run free and kill more peop innocent people, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think she should be a detective at all. Um, but there's got to be, like, an in-between between, like, you know, you deserve to be sacrificed to the god of murder, and you should probably just lose your, um, <laughs> lose your detective license or something. The Harpers don't really hate us, huh? They're just like, oh, we, you never know, maybe he's okay. I know he's like up there trying to kill Isabel, but... I thought she was a guy? Yeah, because of the voice. That makes sense. I thought so too. Alright. Get reverberated, bozo. Aw, she saved. The ver reverberation instantly procced and applied two more. 
So, I would love to know if the gloves are doing anything there, or if that was just me shooting. I think that was just me shooting. Valyria dying is my favorite part of every playthrough. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. She, uh, she is really annoying. Gender isn't real in this game. I can't tell the gender of any of the children. Eh, gender is a social construct anyways. Oh lord, she's healing. Does Goo have a special quality where all attacks cause a condition? I don't see how Clamor is proccing. You know, to be honest with you, I don't really get it either. It's I, I think it's something weird with how Mortal Reminder works. Why is this guy... This guy's going through it. It's okay, buddy. It'll be alright. It's okay. She keeps saving. Stop that. Okay, we'll just... We don't need to overthink this one. I'm pretty sure the boots only apply once per turn, so the gloves did something there, I think. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> They're like bullying each other. That was so mean. He remembered the joke Bartholomew told Marcus last time. Yeah, he, <laughs> Bartholomew's joke was so good that he's just losing it. A whole like three playthroughs later. Wild how Valyria dying. No. Yeah, screw it. We'll just... Wow, she still hit. 16 with disadvantage. Alright, well... Not that I felt guilty to begin with, but I feel even less guilty now. Yeah, you got this, Jahira. For sure, you can do it. Shovel not in the fight? I know Shovel's not in the fight. We're saving her. I don't want to, like, push her too far. I don't want to shove her off the railing or anything. The door's in the way. Yeah. Okay, see, this is what we're saving Shovel for. Get him, Shovel. God damn it, Shovel. Minimum damage. I believed in you. Um, I'll use a baby healing potion just because there's a lot of bad stuff that's about to happen. Well, I'll turn the corner. Sacrificing a cop to the god of murder, kind of based, not gonna lie. Oh, it is pretty based, yeah. Shovel is a her, that's what I've been told. Are you using non-lethal on Isabel? You're right, we, we do want to uh, not kill her. Yeah, I, uh, thanks for reminding me. I was very ready to kill her. Maybe Shovel knew. Shovel knew that I was about to do something horrible and intentionally low damage rolled. Okay, I, sh I see no way to turn on non-lethal for Shovel here, so, um... Okay, Shovel doesn't do opportunity attacks, I guess. I'm gonna pray Shovel doesn't do opportunity attacks. Shovel, just go invisible and uh, y y reset. Spells don't work with non-lethal? I'm, I'm aware, yeah. Um, okay, we'll jump over here. Turn on non-lethal. And then... punch. Her death always triggers the cutscene where she's flown to Moonrise? Oh, okay, never mind. I was worrying for nothing. There are traitors among us. No, really? Yeah, I know, shocking. 
I still believe shovels should have a dig mechanic built in. DOS 2 allowed clawed folks to dig with claws. Yeah, DOS 2 lizard folk are superior to dragonborn for sure. I could have left that for a clip. Yeah, if you didn't say anything. This was wild to see in my first blind playthrough. Yeah, in my first blind... So my first blind playthrough was Lone Wolf 2. And I got to Isabel. And, um... You know, I didn't expect anything, like, bad to happen or anything. Like, I was just gonna go up and go for a chat or something. They said this place is safe. Um, so I chatted to Isabel. And then Marcus came in. And the fight started. And I just didn't roll well enough in initiative. So Marcus and, like, all of his goons went before me. And they just killed Isabel before I did anything and took her away. And I was like, was I deadass thought it was scripted. So it good night, good boys and good girls. Good night, Robin. So it will Hello, be. just joined for Isabel's death. Good timing. Why is Jahira immune to the curse? To I have the next claim on your head. Yeah, who knows? She she really does not care that we then, bullied Isabel, huh? Alright. Go get Jahira. Oh. They, they got Jahira. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that was, uh... That was fast. Alright. <laughs> Time for us to, to jump up here and, and get blasting. That's a speed run, yeah, seriously. That was incredible. Jihira has the blessing of Shalune status? Interesting. Makes you wonder why she didn't do that for everybody. Okay. Uh, let's start by blasting this person. So we could trigger our bloodlust elixir. And then we'll just blast whoever looks at us funny. Like, um... This guy. Screw this guy. All my homies hate Harper Anthony. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just hang out here for a turn. Seems good enough. Hopefully the plants don't come in and like whoop our ass. Uh, maybe I should get Shovel doing something. Anybody you want to kill Shovel? Ah, it's cool. Just 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 meet us up here, Shovel. I have the next claim on your head dies immediately. That was pretty incredible. Yeah, she did uh she did not have the next claim on her head as it turns out. Okay, we can no longer hit Harper Anthony, at least not from here. Uh maybe if we move up to the edge. Okay. Shoot this guy. Get our little bloodlust elixir trigger in. Beat up this guy. Oh, the crit miss with advantage. Oh. The curse isn't entirely unbeatable, you know? It's gonna happen. <sighs> Minsk is one of my favorite characters because he's voiced by Matt Mercer, among other reasons, but that was what made it 20 times better for me. Yeah, no, Matt Mercer's a really cool dude and a sick voice actor. How's the goon life going? Missed the last couple streams. The goon life's going good. Um, we're actually doing like really oh my god, somebody made it up here. Oh, it's quartermaster tally. What's her odds to hit? 95%. Just shove her off, man. No. Okay, surely we don't miss with a 95% chance to hit. And then we'll also shoot this person. Yeah, who needs advantage to crit? He's frightened and prone and lying on the ground. Well, I mean, I guess that's what prone means. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to move back a little bit. Last time, the plants, like, teleported up here, and that made me pretty sad. Why is he in all of my favorite media? I mean, he's a, he's a very well-known voice actor who's very talented at what he does. So it makes sense a lot of people would hire him. 
Matt Mercer stands rise up. Plus, he's got a really good first name, you know? We love us some Matts. No potent robes, though, so it can't be going that good. You're right, you know? The whole run is a, is a blowout, you know? What are we going to do without potent robes? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dog? You still reached up here? You're not invulnerable to force damage, are you? He's PT yeah, PTSD from Michelle run. Okay, I'm just going to shoot you a couple times then. That's a dead, dead plant. I, I wish these guys were coming up here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill all the plants first, you know. Or not. I'll kill that plant. Maybe I should leave them up for Bloodlust Elixir. I don't know. Shoot this guy. Good enough. <sighs> Matt mentioned for bingo. Oh my goodness. That's uh I thought, I thought it was the Matthew scene was mentioned, or unless there was another bingo tile that I'm mistaken of. Are you the dirge? No, we're just the guy. We have to settle for only temperate robes instead? Yeah. Okay. want to kill this plant. Thank you. This is going pretty good. I mean, I didn't really expect this fight to be that hard, so this is more or less how I expected it to go, but yeah. I, I was kind of expecting them to uh, do something here. Cloud of Dagger's value would be crazy. I'm honestly thinking of just dropping a Hunger of Adar, like, just to speed things up here. If they're just gonna hang out here anyways, you know? Though we could drop a cloud of daggers. I mean, they're like really, really clumped up. Big plant. Is there any way that I can like see down there though without jumping down? I, I don't understand. Can I cast this through the floor? Is that what the ghost is telling me? Should I, just, should I just do this? Get a little cloud of daggers, shred away at these guys? That would be pretty nice, huh? I mean, if they're gonna stand there, Hunger of Adar is probably better. It's the mole every turn. Hey, Rune, how's it going? Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a Hunger of Adar. I like, I like, I like Hunger. It's a Warlock spell. Makes me feel good about myself. Let's do it. I guess we can cast it through the floor. Are we in it? Oh, we're in it. What the hell? Oh, shovel. <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's not what I was hoping to have happen. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's uh that's uh, that's an F for shovel. Yeah, that was, that was my bad. Uh, <laughs> Adar is a hungry boy. Yeah, he's eating through the floor. Unsubbed. That's understandable. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a bit of a traffic jam going on here. Do we just like pass a few turns and, and wait for the mole to die? Refunding gifted. No. I hate these guys. That's just so rude. Teleporting onto the roof. The audacity. Uh, we could just stay standing there, but yeah, that's fine. Come upstairs, fellas. Come upstairs. You are still green, yeah. I want to do some Eldritch Blasting, you know? I want to hit these guys. I want it to feel personal. Well... I also kind of don't want to get hit by these guys. The plants are annoying. Uh, so we can't hit that guy. What if I jump 
over. Dang, we're, we're, we're a little, our legs are a little too short. The chairs are in the way. Move the chairs. Wait, does this count as barrelmancy? Yeah, the chairs weren't in the way. <laughs> I think that's worse now. I think the chairs are in the way now. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. We'll just we'll we'll jump here for a little bit of extra movement. Then let me blast. No, now the chairs are definitely in the way. Okay, fuck it. We'll shoot the chairs. There you go. Good turn. Here, man. See ya. Froggy and I have beaten all of Act 1, save for Ethel and the crash area on our duo honor mode run. It's wild. Hell yeah. Good for you guys. You're blazing through it. Could drop another hunger of Hidara on these stairs. That would be pretty fun. Gunter hates cheap furnishings. Yeah. Okay. That's how you get, uh, that's how you get banned in one single message. Congratulations. No warning for that one. <laughs> Why not just like drop the slur at that point if, if you're gonna do that? I mean, I'm glad they didn't drop the slur at that point, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So glad I stumbled on this series. I'm glad you stumbled on this series too. Thanks for being here. Who said what? Best best to not talk about stuff like that. I don't know if you saw, but I think the reason you're getting clamor procs is because of the repelling blast invocation. You think so? I mean, even when I have it turned off, it uh, it also triggers it. Maybe just like having the invocation is enough to do it. Guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I probably should have just banned them in silence, but yeah, it's uh, best to just move on from stuff like that. I'll drop another hunger of Vidar. I'm okay with that. And shove this guy like a quarter centimeter. Truant, not a slur and enjoy or true. You inspired me to start my own honor mode run. Who would have guessed this game is hard? It is pretty hard. Yeah, I'm probably going to do my first honor mode run for my next playthrough. I, I'm actually like really tempted to, and it'll be a nice way to get people. Not that people have really been asking about it this stream, which I find odd now that I think about. But I, maybe now that I've decided to do it, people are like, ah, good enough. He's going to do it. Okay, no need to trigger attacks of opportunity. We'll just, uh, we'll just kill folks. You Kill this folk. Now they're frightened. Do a little bonus action stab. No harm in it. This is where we stand our ground, apparently. Probably should have been, like, right next to the Hunger of Adar, but it's fine. There you go. There's the honor mode questions. Why is he fighting the Harpers? Because we're an evil playthrough. What is the honor mode? Uh, a harder difficulty. They add uh, like new elements to fights, and like like different characters have different actions, and it's also a uh, permadeath. So if you die once, you're done. So. I mean, you can keep going, but then it won't be honor mode anymore. It'll be dishonor mode as the. Uh, Community seems want to call it. Couple of dead dead guys right there. It's good. I like this build. I mean, I realize this isn't like a real fight, you know. These enemies never really do anything, but I like I like seeing all the crits. I like seeing all the frightens. 
Is Dirge Honor after next run of the run after that? No, I mean, Dirge Honor would I'll probably do for my regular Honor mode run. Nox, you know, Nox a couple requests out in one, and uh, Dirge makes Honor mode easier. I'm not going to abuse the cape, though. In fact, I don't think I'm ever going to use the cape at all, period. Um, I would like to hit you. Should probably double blast you to be sure that you die. Yeah, fuck it. And I'm glad I did, because the first hit was five damage. I love Dirge. Dirge is so good. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun time. Ah! I got shot! Yes, but I mean, do you have this run, next run, then Dirge? Or this run, next run, the run after that one, then Dirge? Oh, I, well, I was just saying, I'm probably going to do Dirge Honor for my next run. So it'll be this run, and then Dirge Honor, and then we'll just keep going. I know it's not like the schedule I said I was going to do, but I'm, I'm getting the itch to, to, to beat Honor mode. At least once, you know? And then I think I'll be I'll be satisfied. Unlike Alexander Hamilton. I don't know why I'm just like shooting strays at him, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Damn, I thought it was special run every three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I said it was going to be. So there's a good reason why you thought that. I've just kind of... Uh, you know, changed my mind. And I figured, what's the point of being, like, a self-employed YouTuber if you can't, like, mix up your schedule every now and then, you know? If you can't make videos about what you want, when you want. This railing! Goddamn! Okay, fine. Too many railings in the way, man. Yeah, I'll get those gold dice, too. That'll, that'll be nice having those. Maybe we can jump here and then hit this guy. Too much debris. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's the Harper's dealt with. Let's go outside and shoot some plants. Where the hell is this thing going? I play exclusively solo honor mode, it is a blast, but the first five levels are perilous. I just don't think I would like to do that kind of optimization every playthrough, you know? I think it would be fun, like, as a one-and-done thing, just to, like, be like, this is how optimized we can get, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I like not having to worry too, too much about this. What is happening here? Why are these railings like this? Like, dog, come on. Okay, there you go. All right, keep going. Further this way. So is there a chance the modded run comes slightly sooner than normal too? There's a chance, yeah. Is YouTube your main job? Yes, it is. I, um... I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not making, like, a, a, a ton off of it or anything. But it's just, you know... I'm making enough. And it's just something that's really fun for me. And it's, it's very fulfilling. So, why not, you know? I, uh, I mean, when I started, I was doing both YouTube and I was working at Best Buy part-time. Uh, like 30 hours a week at Best Buy. And uh, th that was a little rough for me, doing both at the same time, especially trying to get videos out like regularly. But uh, yeah, once I was able to get partnered, uh, I mean, the algorithm was very kind to me. So I decided to, to make the switch pretty quickly. We'll get it soon. I don't even know if we need to walk back. I think we can just be fine here. Where do you get your build ideas from? I make them. I love making builds. Making builds is a fun time. The one issue I'm having with my second honor mode clear is leveling. It's near the point where I'm tempted to plan out every little niche detail I can. Um, I mean, there's like... I, I think Fracture made a guide on, like, how to get to, like, level 4 or something without, like, doing anything. Uh, or, like, without fighting anybody. But there's, if you talk an early game, it's definitely doable. This does not seem safe, Gunter. 
you know, I'm gonna do it. I just wanna, I wanna see what Gunter's thought process is here. Good job, buddy. Oh, we only took one damage from that. Oh, the lights turned back on. Okay. Good fight. I mean, not a good fight. We took three damage. That's fucked up. Let's have a look. Why would you ever stop working at Best Buy? It seems so fun. I don't know if you're being serious or not. Um, I sure hope you're not, because, you know, retail. What class are you playing right now? We're playing Warlock. Yeah, you had me, like, second-guessing myself. Like, did I put that in the title? I could have sworn I put that in the title. Honor mode isn't that crazy. You don't have to go super optimized. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm going to give honor mode, like, a shot and, like, see how I feel about it. But I, I, I highly doubt that I'll end up doing it for my regular playthroughs. Like, if I... I, th I think... If I were to do honor mode for my regular playthroughs, I would also be using illithid powers in my regular playthroughs. And I don't really want to use illithid powers in my regular playthroughs. Um, I just think it'll make them start to feel like a little too similar for myself, you know, as I go through like eight more classes. Oh, no. Depends on the build. Go Tavern Brawl or Monk with Dirge Cloak on our mode. A run is very similar to regular run. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, that that to me is, like, super optimized. That's a very powerful build. Did we loot Quartermaster Tally? Where is Quartermaster Tally? That's, like, the main one I want to loot. Yeah, she's not in here. We'll loot her and then move on. You might end up enjoying it. I might. Yeah, we'll see. There she is. I mean, while we're here, you know, we might as well loot everybody else. Oh no, we're encumbered. If you're soloing it, you definitely have to be optimized, but with a full party, it's totally fine. Yeah, well, I, I would continue to be solo. Uh, we'll just click here. Unselect this and this. And I guess that. You never know when we'll need lightning arrows. Okay, let's go um let's go talk to the Thorn siblings. What cars do you like based on looks slash performance? I don't know Jack about cars, I'm gonna be real with you. Uh so I'm gonna say the a Volkswagen Westfala. Westfala Westfalia? You know, you know the one. Love that car. Do you like pears? Mm, more of an Apple guy. I exclusively play honor mode now, but just because I love the legendary actions, I have a mod that lets me reload saves like normal. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably what I would do if I were uh, not, like, making content out of this stuff. But I don't want to, like, put honor mode in the title and then... I mean, I guess I could just not put honor mode in the title. And then just, like, reload saves and stuff. But still, I feel like when you, like, say you're starting with honor mode, there's an expectation that you're going to try and beat it as one would beat honor mode. Either way, I'm pretty content with uh, doing Lone Wolf Tactician, no Illithid powers. That's, that's good enough for me. The key to succeeding in solo honor is the same as your current strategy. Emphasize AC and accuracy. True, but I mean, like, even in character creation, I make sacrifices for the sake of uh, role-playing and, like, making unique characters and stuff like that. Like, doing mono class with a different race every time on lone wolf honor mode already makes it harder. Uh, like, not being able to multi-class and choosing different races every time means you're eventually just gonna have some bad combinations where you end up with, like, 
very little armor proficiencies or stuff like that and then that's where it starts to get like tricky you know are any of your characters gay i'm gonna be real with you i really don't think about the sexuality of the characters that i make you can headcanon that yourself i'll leave that up to, to interpretation where's my gold and that to camp take a wee short rest get shovel back are you for realsies <laughs> why <laughs> okay i guess we're doing this i sure hope i saved after the uh the the fight in last light <laughs> Do you have siblings? If you do, do they watch you? I have a sister. I don't think she watches me. Um, I don't really like using a shovel like this, but he's, he, she's not going to be useful in this fight. I'm just going to uh, have her swing and then provoke an attack of opportunity. That was not a lot of damage. Um, I feel less bad about using shovel like that now. And we're gonna go... Wait, before we go up there... I used a lot of our movement. Uh, we're just gonna blast these guys a wee bit. We'll blast this one and this one. Hoping for a Frighten on one of them. Swing at you. That's fine. Is my music still playing? It is. Just just a wee quiet. Okay, Shovel. You're on distraction duty. What happened? I summoned Shovel. They hated it. Is she your little sister or big sis? She's my big sis. She's three years older than me. Although she is a wee lass. So she's little in that way. You have scheduled streams in the future. Uh, I mean, we're going to play um, more of Act 2 tomorrow. But other than that, no. I mean, we're going to stream every day this week until we beat Act 2, which is likely going to be tomorrow. It rarely takes me more than two streams to beat Act 2. In fact, I don't think it's ever taken me more than two streams to beat Act 2. But I do sometimes go a little uh, over time in order to make that happen. Shovel. Can't wait for the shovel only run. That probably won't happen. Why did that do so much damage? Word eight? That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, it was a high roll, but that's still just a, a big chunk. What's her to hit bonus? Oops. Plus 10 to hit. That's no bueno. Um, yeah, this is pretty pretty unfortunate for us. Okay. This is, this is interesting. I would like to heal. We can try and shove her. And then blast this guy. We could probably kill this guy anyways. We still have an 80% chance to hit. Okay, so what I was thinking is... Haste is really, really risky in this fight. I don't know if haste is the play. But what I was thinking was shove, blast, throw a potion, heal. If we get the extra action. And then run away. Hmm, that's a bummer. Okay, this changes things. Now... Oh, wait, I can't even hit this person? Okay, no, I can. We could send one beam on them, one beam on Jiren Goth, but that's not... this. That's not really likely to kill at all. I think either way, we double beam this guy. No, not the miss. Okay, I think we might be dead here. Just a little unfortunate. I, I was, uh... Yeah. 
Maybe I should have just cast the darkness there. I, I'm, I'm a little unwilling to do it just because of uh, how it breaks fights, but I, maybe because she was already in it, it would have been better. That was nice, but they all saved, so not really nice. Did we just take 15 damage? We did. They're high rolling damage big time, man. Yeah, we're, we're dead. That's a bummer. That's a, that's a really big bummer. Okay, we will summon Shovel a little further away this time. That is first death of Act 2. Do you plan to give Gunter a crit fish build? We already have a crit fish build. We crit on 16s or higher and we have advantage to hit. Yeah. Are they going to get pissed at us if we do it like down here too? I did not short rest. Yeah, they didn't they didn't care when we did it down there. Yeah. Then we'll quick save. How do you turn off auto reactions? Uh, go to your reactions menu and then you can check ask if you wanted to ask or you could just turn it off entirely if you don't want it to pop up. Okay, uh, we'll get shovel invisible. And then is there anything we want going into this fight active spell wise? I don't think so. I mean, we could get, like, a, a, a dead guy to uh, help us out here. I mean, there's no reason not to. Surely there's a corpse just outside. Any skeletons lying about? Really? Okay, that's fine. I don't care too much about getting a body. I know you've done a ton of runs. Do you have a favorite class or build at this point? Out of the runs that we've done, honestly, I really like the Illithid Powers only build that we had. Just like the absolute immortal tank that was Michelle Mind Freak was really, really fun. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just go for it. I really hope I took my gold off in this save. Well, we'll find out. What do you require? require What's the gear to get the crit roll that low? I thought most of the gear was for it was in Act 3. So we have Spell Sniper, which is a feat that drops it down by one. And then we have um, Knife of the Undermountain King, which drops it down by another one. Oh, maybe I miscounted. And then we have uh, the Covert Cowl, which drops it by another one. I think that's all we have. So we crit on a 17 or higher. So I was mistaken there, not a 16. Toss the creature a gold piece. Nom nom nom. I'm gonna add I require gold to my dating profile. That's a good one. Yeah, it makes things clear. How much do you want exactly? I don't hand out so much for so little in return. With the right help, you could become so much more. Yeah, we'll take a warlock option with advantage. That's sick. Does the champion subclass decrease crit limit for spells in case of multiclassing? I'm pretty sure it's just all attacks, yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go with deception. Easy. First try, every try. Jiren Goth reminds me of Smo from Dark Souls One. Anyone else? Yeah, I can totally see it. The gold, the mask, yeah. Well, that was pretty easy. That's how I was expecting it to go, you know. Our charisma is pretty high, but uh, just a little unfortunate with uh, 
Apparently summoning shovel pisses them off. Saturn, stop trying to raise people in my chat. I, I don't want my chat to actually turn into <laughs> Tinder. Is Shovel more dog or cat coded? I would definitely get more cat vibes from Shovel. Gold, I require I require the gold. 14, hell yeah. How close to a level up are we? Still pretty far. Can we break through these vines? No, no way. Alright, let's get some more gold. Easy. You mean the I want to murder attitude? Yeah, exactly. I think there's a good chance that Theodosia would kill me, um, given how often I decline her request to play with me. The other morning, I, um, it was like my day off I, after the uh, Gunter video came out, and I was just, I was just chilling with my little baby cat. I woke up, we played for like 45 minutes maybe, like, like right after I woke up. And then I took a, a brief 15 minute break to make breakfast, and she was glaring daggers at me the whole time. She was so pissed off. She was meowing angrily and glaring daggers at me, trying to get me to play with her. She was... It was the angriest I've ever seen her. Like, I, I didn't even, like, wake up and brush my teeth or anything or, like, go to the washroom. No, I just woke up and played with her. There was, there was nothing in between. She just needed more. What's your fave class and subclass? Tough one, tough one. Um, Fave class, I I mean, I tend to say either Barbarian or Wizard, because those are my 5th edition favorite classes, though I've yet to really play them in this game. Um, fave subclass? Hmm. Honestly, Thief. Like, Thief seems, like, really, really good. Thief Rogue, you know, it's just, it makes a lot of other builds viable. It makes every build just better, having an extra bonus action. What am I doing? I'm gonna go find the other Thorms. Maybe we should fight these guys here real quick. Let's do that. Clean up the town. Nobra's Ring could be funny for Hunger of Adar, creating ice everywhere. I think that would be a pretty cool build. I don't think it's the build we're going for, but that, would, that could be a cool one for sure. Level 10 is barely not possible in Act 2? I... I don't believe that. I'm pretty sure it is. We'll just send Shovel in to, to get the, um... The prize round. Go get him, Shovel. Where's the shadows, actually? Over there? Yeah, just hit this person. And then Gunter is going to come this way and go after this shadow. Yeah. Dang it. I should have sent Shovel after it. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, we'll take a step back to make sure that it doesn't just like insta gib us or anything. The amount of XP you get from Act Three is crazy. I feel like half the time I've only just got to Act Three, and the game just gives me level twelve. Yeah, you get um, you get so much experience in Act Three. Makes it hard for me to like want to stick around in the earlier acts, you know. Um, well, problem is. Nobody else really close enough for us to kill with this guy. Even if we move, I don't think there's anybody close enough. What else would we like to do with our action? We could drop a Hunger of Hadar. 
I don't know if we need to, though. But, it, it, I mean, Hunger of a Dar never really hurts. Can we jump back this way? We can. Sure, let's drop a Hunger of a Dar on these guys. There you go. Why not? Level 10 in Act 2 is possible on a good run. If you really stretch it on an evil run, I doubt you'd get even close. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. I would like to hit this person. I don't think we can. Not from here. Oh. No, that's the taller guy. Come on, man. Okay, we can hit their, we can hit their little head. We'll do a couple shots to make sure it works. Didn't need to that time, but it's unlikely. I'm, I'm still okay with having done two shots there. Frightened this guy. Blinded, prone, difficult terrain. Good. I think we could just end our turn here. I'll move back a wee bit. I'm saying a wee a lot today. Do you always drink Bloodlust Pot? Not always, just on the, like, the, the builds where it's good. I mean... I, I have a hard time imagining, like, the only other elixir I would want to use with this character off the top of my head regularly is the elixir of viciousness. Uh, but against fights like this, we would much rather have a bloodlust elixir. Okay, apparently, you are not allowed to get shoved backwards, which is a little unfortunate, but oh well. Managed to frighten two of them with that. It's good. I want to see the rest of Adar. He's got arms and he's got hunger, but do we got hands? That's a good question, yeah. I'll keep blasting away at, at a couple of them. No need to focus on just one when they're that separated health-wise. Oh, that guy's in for it. Look at all those horrible conditions for him. Prone, reverberation, frightened, hunger of a dar, difficult terrain, blinded. He's not having a good time. Heroism, maybe, until you get your statue. Heroism, I think... I don't know, it's it, like we've... We don't need the extra boost to our attack rolls. We're hitting no matter what, pretty much. Um, you got here fast, man. Like, we're getting crits out the wazoo. Uh, we, we don't need heroism for the attack boost bonuses. The only situation we would need heroism for is for saving throws. Four crits in a row, by the way. Uh, but... When it comes to saving throws, we've also already kind of given up on them with the Risky Ring. It would help, like, offset that, but we're at a point in our lives where we would much rather just just be, like, destroying the enemies. So we're, we're not allowed to see you, huh? That's fine. What's up, Bozo? Nice. Not nice. Yeah, we'll just go for the old... The old one-two. Okay. But yeah, I don't think heroism would be that great for us. Thank you for the entertaining stream. My pleasure, my pleasure. I'm just now realizing I've never used Bloodlust Elixir and I'm missing out, I think. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Sorry, what's your crit number on right now? I believe we're critting on a 17 or higher. Let's see. Is there, like, somewhere it says it in our character sheet? Doesn't look like it. Minus one from this, minus one from this. Uh, and then we have minus one from our feet. And then we got another minus one from somewhere, right? Minus one. 
minus one minus one from our feet i was like literally just talking about it am i was i doing better in my head are we really only critting on a 17 or higher or that's a 18 or higher no that's not right oh we could on yeah no no because i'm forgetting the initial one yeah okay we crit, we crit on oh my god we crit on a 17 or higher good lord having a stroke Okay, let's go do Malice. Wielding the Orphic Hammer in the late game can remove the disadvantage from the Risky Ring. Um, I'm probably just going to stick with the disadvantage, if I'm being real with you, because uh, the other item we'd like to wield in our hand is the uh, Orin's Dagger, which expands our crit range yet again. Elixir of Vigilance is great for solo runs too. True, that's a good one. Which one will you use gnomes for? Cleric, you'd be indomitable and on the fighter class feature way. I'm probably going to use gnomes for barbarian. Just because barbarians kind of need the extra help. Um, I would. I mean, like, obviously, I think it would be pretty funny to, to just like make a, a class race combo as powerful as possible. But we kind of need to put them where they're necessary with mono classes. Hey, Flying Cow, thanks for the listener to your membership. I really appreciate it. Very much appreciated. Thank you. It really does help out quite a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's get Shovel back. I don't think we need to do a short rest, if I'm being real with you. Let's just uh, drink one of these and, and call it a day. That's exactly right, Griffith. Yeah. Here to see the doctor. How do people do solo playthroughs? I can barely survive tactician with mods and party limit remover. Just a lot of game knowledge and practice for the most part. Are you planning to get Rhapsody from Kazador as a filler into Lauren? Uh, I think we could do Orin pretty fast, honestly. Um, like Orin doesn't have great mental saves from what I remember. We could probably frighten her pretty easily and then it becomes a whole lot easier. Uh, assuming she's not immune to being frightened. Uh, the only problem is we don't have a ton of, like, great AoE. We could also... Depends on how many beams we have at that point, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, I, I think we'll probably do Warren, like, pretty fast. Um... We'll just figure out a way to deal with all of her, her sanctuary goons, and then it'll be fine. I need to see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. Was your first ever run on I Tactician? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was it was balanced, but it was Lone Wolf. You will be seen. Hello there, I miss this sweet, beautiful, cursed dwarf noble. He's doing a lot better now, Felipe. I'm sick with a deep malaise, one that came from a place beyond the stars. Easy. We're even critting on our uh, skill checks now. Poor creature. Oh, so sad. So sick. Are Gemini gloves on the table for extra elder blast? We're probably going crater flesh gloves. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I don't know if it's like a, it's probably a bug, but um, crater flesh gloves right now they make it so when you crit with elder blast instead of uh. Instead of dealing the extra damage, it, it just gives you another Eldritch Blast Beam. Which is, uh, obviously really good. Because if that crits, then that's another chance of Frightened. It's also more Reverberation and all that. It's just kind of good. Let's see if we can buy some potions here. Are you going to get the silly Charisma hat? No, because then we'd have to give up a uh, minus one to our crit mod. You're a patient. I will sell you what I can. Once I've stabilized, not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. Yeah, definitely just just medicated. I think Saravok Helm will reduce crit roll by one. Yeah, we'll end up getting that. Um these hands would not fail me. Because it's it's not conditional like our current helmet is, but yeah. But you do one more damage, so two more damage on crit. That's not how crits work. Uh, I mean, we would do the one more damage, but crits don't double the damage that you deal. They double the damage dice. So, for example, 
Right now we're dealing a D10 plus four from our charisma mod. When we get a crit, we deal two D10 plus four. The mod always stays the same. The dice are what change. Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Yeah, we'll take these. Nice. No. Okay, let's go talk to the good doctor. But before we do that, I'm sorry, I'm going to take another bathroom break. I was chugging water earlier in the stream. This is how it goes. We did Queen Tysis last time. We'll do old time battles. I'll be right back. Uno momento, gang. Oh, yeah, I forgot the BRB screen last time. There you go. Okay, we're back. Uh, what's Gunter's lore for being an evil man? Surely it's not because he's short. Uh, no, it's because he's rich. Kind of comes hand in hand. <laughs> uh, I use gloves of dex to buff Eldritch Blast attack rolls, initiative, and free ability points for constitution so I can use Pact of the Tome haste more safely. That's fair. That's smart. Yeah. That's reasonable for sure. Do you reckon I could convince him to do an Eagle Heart Barbarian WWE build for his barb vid? You could try. I'm pretty set on, on the Barbarian build I have in mind already. It seems like it'll be a fun time. What ending are you thinking of for Goons? Probably take over the world ending. You know, everybody will be his servant. Okay, uh, once again, I don't think there's any more prep that we're doing other than what we have right now. The objective of the sort of Chaos plus Tiger Heart? Yeah, I mean, that's more or less what I was thinking. I mean, for the earlier acts, we were going to be using Flynn Slail. I love this guy. I love his design, it's so good. Gunter's elder brain patron tells him to put their heads together, yeah. See, that's the one thing, like, it would be, he would kind of be, like, betraying his patron, uh, if he were to, like, become a ruler of a different elder brain, but, I mean, like, do we care about our patron that much? Isn't he Kethrick's uncle? I honestly have no idea. I mean, I know they're all related to Catherick, but... Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Hmm. A student, yes. Do please enlighten me. I was under the impression that they're all his children. That's kind of what I thought too, but I mean, 
This guy gives me like weird uncle vibes. I can see it. He loves his patron. What do you mean? His patron is his love. I mean, we retconned the uh, the emperor being our patron and that we were like, you know, enamored by him. So now it's just our patron is just an elder brain who sent us here to uh, investigate the cult of the absolute. What is Goon? Go what is Gunnar Coomley's opinion on Reagan and trickle down economics? Hey, as long as it makes Gunter more rich, he's down for it. No way a pig is Catherine's child. I mean, if you're talking about um, Thisbald, he I'm pretty sure he calls Catherine his father, like just straight up calls him father. Just got back from watching Solar Eclipse. Even though the glasses, my even through the glasses, my eyes feel like that guy's now. <laughs> hey, at least you wore the glasses. All right. Um. So we're a little stupid, but we'll see how this goes. Not, not great, fellas. It's not, not going great. You know, I'll use one inspiration on this. Okay, that's fine. Try as you might, you can't think of any relevant teachings. Well, wow. this is uh, not going well. That's fine. Nothing unusual about the sisters. Nothing unusual about these guys at all. Can I go back to the Underdark with no consequences once I get to Last Light In? I forgot to meet the Fishman. I don't I don't see why not, yeah. We're a little stupid, proceeds to not one. Perfection hey, it's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this one. No, no. No! Oh my god! That is tragic. I wasted my inspiration. I didn't think we would struggle with that one. I'm gonna be real with you. Gunter is not cooking on these rolls, yeah. Unfortunately, Risky Ring does not help with that. Okay, here we go. Fighting time. Uh-oh, Malice gets to go first. Yeah, well, there's not much we can do about that, huh? Oh, he still hit us. I think we drop a Hunger of Hadar here. Blind them and then back up. I, yeah, I don't hate that idea. We could just disengage and back up, but I think we kind of want the Hunger of Hadar going anyways. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just go upstairs. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Do a wee bit of healing. Uh, shovel can stay sitting there. That's okay. Okay, I guess they uh, don't really like taking turns anymore. Did we just like beat this fight? <laughs> what just happened here? <laughs> uh, are we really not going to be able to shoot these guys from up here? Are you shitting me, Gunther? God damn, he's so short. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, we're not going anywhere else this turn. Hey, Bad Magic Wings, how's it going? Have you been gunning for 100% achievements in your runs if you don't have it already? No, no, I haven't really cared much about achievements. I'm not much of an achievement hunter in general. Um, screw it, we'll just... We'll just do that. Frighten a couple of them.
Wait, is it because shovel's in the way? Is that what's happening here? Did I accidentally like block with shovel? Hold up. Let me let me move shovel out of the way. Out of the way, shovel. Do you not get the bloodlust from the patient? I'm pretty sure you only get bloodlust elixir if you kill hostile creatures. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong about that, but. Still can't hit this guy. Can I move, like, any close? What if I move up here? Nope. Not quite, huh? Uh, huh. Nope, I accidentally knocked her out. That's fine. I don't know. I don't know why they're just standing here. Do you prefer Hunger of Hadar or Cloud of Daggers? Uh, I mean, for this build, definitely Hunger of Hadar. Okay, well, this is, uh, interesting. Maybe if we kill these guys, he's gonna move out of this, like, really awkward spot. Hmm. Does the dagger from Kazador give damage for spells? I don't think so. I mean, I know it increases your chance to hit with spells, but... Okay, uh, let's start working our way this way. I don't think we're gonna dash, but... Okay, now... No, I was gonna say, now he's coming. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. Plus three to damage and attack rolls. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. I was just mi misremembering the text of the item then. But yeah, it's a really good item. In fact, it is probably optimal for this character. But uh, we would like to make our crit range as low as possible. Wah. Um, I don't really want to provoke an attack of opportunity from this lady. So we'll just do that. And maybe next turn we'll have Shovel come around. If that happens again. Oh, where's he going? Cloud of Daggers does not cause pathing to break as much. So much worse. I don't like it when pathing breaks. I just want to be able to use spells without feeling like I'm breaking the game. Hmm, she's still alive. You know what, Shovel? Get your, get your butt up here. Hey, Truant, you know what does increase cantrip damage? Potent robes. You're so right. Yeah, it does. Alright, finish him off, Shovel. Heck yeah. Still not in combat. Just, just go back invisible. The unseen assassin. Yeah, you could just hide up here. I love ha Shovel just having like little side quests in the middle of fights. I always resin people, which is fine. We don't really care about that. Um, we'll go up here. We will double blast this person because we don't have a reason to not do that. Uh, and then we'll turn off repelling blast and shoot this guy. Yeah, that's nice. How many turns do we have left on this? Doesn't really say, huh? That's fine. No prone for us this time. Just accidentally aggro drawer in the goblin camp on my honor mode run at level 3 but killed him somehow. He did one shot my tab though. Hey, good job. Apparently we only needed to shoot her once. I'm starting to think this this build is uh, pretty good here, huh? Why didn't you get potent robes? Are you stupid? It's the best min-max build. The Reddit told me you're so right. Yeah. I just accidentally switched to my bow. Rip Hunger of Hadar. 
He's frightened. We did it. Frightened and prone. That's a skip turn. Sucks to be that guy. We're really bullying this man, huh? Oh, he lost his legendary resistance. Use Thorn Whip and get Malice back in Hidara. That was probably a pretty good idea, yeah. Um, I mean, only problem with that, Thorn Whip's range is, like, really low. <laughs> so, maybe it wasn't a good idea. We would have had to, like, be inside of the darkness ourselves. Or the hunger ourselves, rather. Oh, this is gonna be rough for him, man. Now that he's out of Legendary Resistance, this is gonna be a bad show for him. Well, that was, uh, that was unexpected. What do you mean I hit once and didn't crit? Where's he off to? Ooh. Unacceptable. Go murder, Shovel. Did you not save the tieflings in the dungeon now can't get the bone robe? But yeah, we killed the tieflings in Act 1. Yeah, this is an evil run. Another successful assassination by Shovel. Good job, Squirt. Uh. I love that dash into going like literally nowhere. Ooh, ooh, we're missing, guys. The game heard me, like, shit-talking, being like, oh, this is gonna go so bad for him. The game was like, I'll show you bad. I, I am liking this quite a lot, though. This is fun. Poor Sister Julia. She's going through it right now. Oh, where's he going? No, he's going somewhere we can't shoot him. Gah. Ah. What if I have Shovel make herself visible? Hmm? Go over there. Look at that. Shovel's here. There you go. That's the spirit. What's this rodent pope everyone keeps talking about? I have no idea, but count me intrigued. Way faster than Sea Blast. Way, way faster than Sea Blast. Hmm. Welcome up, Shovel. No. Uh, I keep forgetting how unbelievably stupid unmodded AI is. Yeah, it, it, it kind of sucks, um, but that's okay. Would like to hit you, Mr. Man. Could go down uh, and then shoot him, but that's a, that's a little risky. What if we move over this way? Maybe he'll dash over this way. How do you feel about coming here? I, I don't know if that's, uh... No. Okay, good, good, good. We might be able to just kill him here. Yes, sir. That is a dead, dead malice. What if I jump up here and then shoot this lady from our vantage point, huh? Huh? How about that? There you go. Easy peasy. Boy, Hunger of Hadar sure does uh, make this game a lot easier, huh? E-blast two whole letters apart? Yeah, exactly. 
Delightfully devilish truant. Thank you, Rune. That was rather delightfully devilish. This guy looks cold. You chili dog? <laughs> Distressed patient. Yeah, I'd say so. Where is his corpse? Did I loot him? Where did I kill him? There he is. <laughs> Randomly remembering that you're streaming throughout the day is the best. Heck yeah, I'm glad you're here, Saturday. Saturday Hippo. Yeah, that's what that says. I can read. Hunger of Adar is easily a top three spell. It really is, yeah. Are you playing Dark Urge or just a basic evil run? Just a basic evil run. Okay. Uh, so that's Malice Dunzo. Let's go chat with Thizibald, huh? Uh, imagine if the whole Shadow Curse was just a big hunger of Hadar. <laughs> it would be a lot more imposing, I'll tell you that much. Alright, Shovel, up and at him. Back to the murder mines. I think spike growth is too power too overpowered for a level two spell. It's really good. Spike growth is very, very nice. Um, you know what? Maybe we should have uh gotten a corpse from there. Whatever. What did I just do? Probably nothing. Okay, let's go chat with Thizabald. Banal evil run. Is that how you say that? Banal? Banal? I don't know. Okay, we'll do a quick save before we go in here. Uh, so this is a fight where I think I actually would like a vicious elixir more, but I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think we have any. I don't think we've found any yet, actually. Banal? Okay, right the first time? Sounds good. Hello, Thizzabold. Good thing we're not playing 5th edition web. That spell in the tabletop RPG is the second best level 2 spell and one of the best level 3 spells. I don't know if I've, me or any player I've played with has used that spell in 5th edition before. Vicious Elixir is made from Shadow Root Sacks? Oh, really? Oh, man. Okay. Good knowledge. Thank you. Alright. God, he's so short. Really had to jump to get up onto that stool. What's up, Big Papa? <laughs> Banal's name. First time fighting this guy and not understanding he doesn't take physical damage was a big surprise. Yeah, he's, uh... He really sent me for a loop, too, the first time I, uh, I spotted him. <laughs> what an old nine hells are you? Big Papa. Yeah, Damon, Big Papa. You got a problem with that? Is there a point to fight these three, or could you go straight to Moonrise? Oh, I mean, we've already been to Moonrise. There's no point in fighting these three. There's just things to do around town. Uh, Lore-wise, we're making ourselves the new landlord of this place. We're gonna make sure that the denizens pay their taxes to us. Alright. Mr. Truant, what is your opinion on plant growth? Uh, it's a... I don't know, it's a pretty solid spell. It's not as good as, like, spike growth or something like that. Um, especially because of how flammable it is. Uh, I mean, spike growth is flammable too, but... It just, I, I feel like it doesn't do enough on its own, you know? It is really nice, though, keep, for keeping enemies at bay. Oh, the Risky Ring. Oh, I forgot about the Risky Ring. Okay, well, we have to go sleight of hand then, huh? This is gonna be rough. Never mind, I'm a liar. It's not gonna be rough. Plant growth is good, it's a quarter movement and no concentration. It is still good, yeah. I just don't think it's as good as other similar options. Okay, 
Yeah, I like it when other people cast it on themselves. That's my favorite time to see. <laughs> What's your opinion on potted plant growth? I, I'm a big fan of uh, potted plants in general. I really need to get some for my apartment. I like don't have any, but we don't get a lot of natural light in my apartment. So maybe I'll just go with like cacti and fern and stuff like that. I think uh, my cat would really like to have plants to mess with. Maybe not the cacti though. All right. Um. Yeah, Warlock Persuasion. There you go. I'm the favored vessel. Vessel. I'm the. Ah, I am the favored vessel of an unknowably ancient creature. Here we go, guys. We're doing it. What's your opinion on unpotted plants? I'm probably a bigger fan of those. You know, just like walking in nature and seeing some plants. That's the shit, man. I like how happy Gunter looked there. He looked like genuinely proud that he told a good story. Just a plant growing in your room, yeah. Okay, uh, well, we'll do another sleight of hand, because, uh, yeah, risky ring. No. That's okay, it was bound to happen. Yeah, succulents are great, because then you can say succulent more often. That's a good point. Okay, um, so we're just going to, like, lure them outside. We don't need to really deal with this in here. Um, I'm definitely going to turn my repelling blast back on. And then I'm going to start walking up these stairs, and, uh... Maybe I should have blasted Thizzabold here. That is not going very far, huh? I sh Maybe I should have just dropped the Hunger of Adar. Maybe that was the play. What am I doing? We'll drop a Hunger of Adar next turn. Surely he doesn't reach us. Oh, does that count as reaching us? It's, it's close. I know he's got reach, so we'll see. Oh, he reached us. That's okay. We'll drop a Hunger of Hadar. Okay, we'll make sure Shovel's not in it. Nothing will stand in my way. And then we'll drop a Hunger of Hadar right here. That way he can't see us. I don't know, maybe that was bad too. Maybe... Maybe I should have disengaged here. I don't know. Um... I think what I will do, actually, is reveal Shovel right here, and hopefully this slows him down. We'll try and frighten this guy. Didn't work. That's okay. Next turn, we'll jump up here, I think. Oh, no. Don't go around and puke on me there. No, no. Okay, thank God. Yeah, honestly, Shovel, just, like, start, start beating them up while they're in there. Hell yeah. Keep it up. Um... I think we actually just blast this guy, and we'll just do two blasts on Thizzabald. And then we'll jump up here and start booking it. <sighs> it's going the long way, which is A-OK -okay with us. Shovel clutching by blocking zombie path. Yeah, Shovel's always clutching. Uh-oh. They made it out of the hunger. Oh. There she goes. 
Warlock only get a max of three pack slots, right? And they have some ways of free casting. They do get ways of free casting. Yeah, I don't really know off the top of my head how many pack slots they get. Um, apparently we're not pushing him. Oh, we, we kind of are. I'm not hitting these guys from here. That's fine. Couple shots up here. Brightened is real good. Um, either way, we'll still open up this door. Get ready to take some steps back. Just in case uh, how many of these guys get up here. Would confusion work? See the pro- I mean, like, confusion would work here. It wouldn't be horrible. I'm okay dropping another Hunger of Hadar here, actually. But, like, right here this time? I really like that. Uh, the problem is, I don't know if, if it's just our hunger spell save DC that's bugged, or like everything that we do, but something's bu going on with our spell save DCs. They get three and you get one six level spell per day, I believe. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Um, I might have screwed up by, by leaving this place too early. Never mind. Never mind, we can still hit him from here. Can't hit any of his buddies, that's fine. Two shots on Thizzabald. Two crits on Thizzabald. Guy at the front is frightened. I wonder... No, it's probably not going to body block. They, they can go out here. Thizzabald is frightened though, that's nice. Okay, we'll walk a little further out. Not too far. Then we'll start taking these guys out. I'm gonna head to bed. Sounds good, Leo. Have a have a good rest. Just got on a military base. Oh, sick. Say hi to the military folks for us. Uh, I would like to hit this guy quite a lot, actually. I wonder if I can. I don't want to go like too far out of the way because we like, really don't have good movement. I'm sure we can hit him from here, though. Oh, come on. This guy's in the way. A little further. Yes, we can hit him. I'm gonna go for the double shot on him. I'm okay doing the double shot on him, just to be safe. Nah, you know what? Let's be risky. We got the risky ring. We're done being safe. That didn't trigger our Bloodlust Elixir. I wonder why. I was really expecting it to. I mean, I know we didn't kill him. It's just the... Zombies at the Dwergar summon triggered the Bloodlust Elixir. So I was expecting it to work on these guys too. Oh well, that's fine. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass too much. Uh, I don't think Thizzabal's reaching us this turn. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Um, I will just jump out from these guys. That's fine with me. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll just jump out. Sure. Wait, did we apply to both of them? Oh. Weird. Very weird. Damn, dude, I'm so tired of playing short characters. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Fucking railings. Can I move closer and do this? Nope. Oh, we can hit this guy. Okay, we'll hit this guy. <laughs> Pathetic shortness, yeah. Oh, man, dude. I mean, we're not doing, like, anything else with our action. We could drop a Call Lightning just to do, like, something. We could drop a Haste. I don't know if we're killing in 10 turns, though. Like that when you're human-sized, too. I feel like it's worth... W worth. I feel like it's worse on short characters, but maybe I'm just, uh, imagining things. We could Haste. I... I don't know if we're doing it in 10 turns, though. 
Can you get on the roof? You can. Uh, he can still puke on you when you're on the roof, though. Unless you mean, like, way, way up on the roof. In which case, I don't think you can. That's fine. I'm just gonna move back and maybe dash back a little further. Yeah. What class will be the gnome? I could have sworn I answered that question. Uh, barbarian. Likely barbarian. Can you summon Scratch? Why would you want me to summon Scratch? You want me to feed him to the wolves? Blast this guy. Blast this guy. Um... We're not pushing him any further back, unfortunately. The, the doorway is in the way. <laughs> so we'll just... I, I would really like to fear him and, like, maybe knock... I don't think he can be knocked prone. At least not unless he throws up. I'm not too scared of the zombies. Okay, we frightened him. Fantastic. I wonder if the Moonrise guards get involved. Like, holy shit, Kethric's son is just, like, out there murdering people. I, I really don't think Call Lightning is, like, ever the right play here. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh... Shove... Move here. Trigger that attack of opportunity. Shove this guy. That's fine. Trigger this attack of opportunity. It wasn't fine! I take it back. I'm angry. Kill this guy? Killed him with the reverberation. That sucks. That is not what I wanted to have happen. But this guy's frightened, which is sick. I remember reverberation knocking Thizibald Thorn- uh, Thizibald Prone. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe he's just making the saves. Um, I just remember that when I was playing uh, Thelonious, I, it, the game wouldn't let me knock him prone with uh, Flurry of Blows. Blast this guy, and this guy. Ooh, missing him is uh, really bad, actually. Maybe I should have casted Haste here. Maybe this was the time to cast Haste. Maybe I should have Potion of Speed. Maybe that was too many mistakes. Oh, this guy blocked him. He got body blocked. Hell yeah, Blighted Troubadour. All part of the plan. Yeah, we take a step back. I think once this guy dies, I'm going to feel a lot better about casting haste. Yeah, he's not getting knocked prone, that's for sure. There's no way he catches up to us, right? There's no way he's like that fast. See, he's got zero meters of move speed. <laughs> I should have shoved this guy. I don't know why I didn't. No reason to have not. That was a misplay. They're piling on. Wait, can he just not get past here? Oh, come on, man. I mean, like, this is the goal, right? To keep kiting him away. But, like, I want to earn it. At least try. Ooh. That's no fun. Um. He likes the bar too much. Hmm. Vine, vine whip him over? I don't think it'll let me. I'll tell you what, guys. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cast haste. And then I'm going to... Next turn, I'm going to... Uh, to jump over here. And then we're just gonna lure him back this way, and we're gonna we're gonna pray to God that doesn't end like absolutely horribly for us. Okay. 
In the meantime, this turn we're just gonna <clears throat> do this. Whoops. Don't get too close to him. I don't want him throwing up on me as we're like trying to run past him. So I think we need to spend one action dashing here. Which is obviously not how I want to be spending my hasted actions. Not that far. Maybe I had to use two actions to dash. Oh, fuck me. I had to use two actions. Boo! I'm dead. <sighs> oh, okay. We, we, we made the save? Is that what just happened? Why did that do so little damage? Oh, because we have necrotic resistance. Apparently that's a magical damage. Go figure. Okay. Oh. Now we got knocked prone. Okay. Sure. Whatever works, you know. Whatever works. Uh, I'm really glad we made that uh, concentration save, by the way. I didn't really uh, talk about that. But uh, yeah, that made me happy. All right, come get me, bozo. Uh, doesn't work on Merkel, but works on this guy's throw up. Actually, it might work on Merkel. Um, I don't remember if it works on Merkel or not, but it definitely doesn't work on his um, Necromites. Why didn't you get shoved anywhere? Are you in an unshovable spot? Are we going to have enough move speed if we don't dash? Maybe I'll dash to be safe. I'm going to dash to be safe. I, um, I'm frightened. How far away is he now? Five meters? We can move another 16? Surely that's enough, actually. Surely that's enough. I mean, this guy's bod is magical. You're so right. Come on. Crits. Frightens. Got knocked prone. That's good enough. That's because Merkel is a god and this fat drunk guy isn't. Well, Merkel's necromites aren't a god. I don't think they're gods. Maybe, maybe they're all gods. He's too far. Uh, so this is a little risky for obvious reasons. Turn off the push. Okay, he got knocked prone again. Turn on the push. And he's frightened. Turn off the push. Turn on the push. Take a step back. And turn. I think he got prone at the same time, which cancelled the repel. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Either way, that is Thizzabald Thorm. Down for the count. Not my, uh, not my Gunther. My Gunther would never say that. Visible isn't evil like the doctor or tollkeeper. He's just some weirdo. Listen, if he was just some weirdo, then maybe he shouldn't have tried to kill us. That's where I draw the line. I'll take that. Okay, we are going to loot every single shadow root sack that we see this is our new life buckle up get the shadow root sacks one step ahead of you 
In fairness, he was wasted, true. Did he just die sitting? Uh, is his body gone? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's kind of just like... No, he's pretty dead. He's like on his knees. His many knees. Why is Isabel called Catholic father if he's not his son? I don't know the form Thorn family true tree, just curious. I'm pretty sure he just is his son. Can't reach this. Oh my god. This is discrimination. That's fucked up game. Save? Yeah, you're so right. We'll grab these. Grab the rat bat. Why does he only seem to care about Isabel then? I don't know, man. Some people just have favorites. Looking so forward to seeing what this video is out. Love the Michelle Mind Freak playthrough. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to get another another story told for sure. Yeah, I uh, I enjoyed the the Act One Gunter video. That was a good time. I feel like it turned out pretty well. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the Thorms done for the most part. We'll go investigate the back room, and then we'll uh, head to the mausoleum. Yeah, where we can get the rest of our items. We'll do the Balthazar fight. Hopefully, we don't need the Nox Roll for that. I don't think we will. Getting closer to level seven. If we're not level 8 before the Moonrise Tower stuff, I'm probably going to go grind up for that. I think Isabel is probably blood related and the others are just family. I mean, Isabel literally ca calls Catherick father, though. Like, just straight up father, not like uncle or anything, you know? Ambush fist fight. Ambush fish fight is an XP farm. The one. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, there's the birds. There's the uh, not like the thorn mausoleum, but like the you know the crypts. There's there's plenty of places to get XP. There's the the plants. Those guys are probably pretty easy for us. I think he does so more because Catherick is an authority figure. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a fan of Occam's Razor in this circumstance. Like, I don't go around calling my boss, like, dad, you know? Why are we so pressed about the familiar relations of the Thorm chat? I mean, I, I, I don't see why not talk about it, you know? It's not like, it's, it's a taboo subject. But it is weird. I, I agree with everybody that's saying it's weird. Like, why Thorm, like, if Tisbald is his son, why Catherick doesn't really care about him nearly as much as uh, Isabel. I call my boss daddy. Okay, well, that's a you thing. Shard calls Viconi a mother, but they aren't related. But I mean, Viconia, or Viconia, sorry, is kind of like a, a mother figure to Shard. Thorm, like, like, Thisabald Thorm is obviously related to Catherick Thorm already, and he calls him father. Which is like, even if, uh, even if they're not blood related, if Catherick is resurrecting him, and he's calling him father, presumably they still have a close enough relationship for that to be like a normal thing to do. In which case, the question still rises, why doesn't Catherick care? Oh, and apparently Mother Superior is her title, so yeah, there, there you go. You are encumbered? Oh, you're so right. 
Bro, I, I got caught up in the in the, the family relations chat. Oh uh, yeah, don't need this, don't need this. Get rid of all this junk. That was not a lot. Wait. Okay, hopefully that is better. That is better. That's one for the bingo players right there. Everyone gets encumbered. Okay, um, let's take a long rest, methinks, and then let's go head to the mausoleum. Yep, go do that. Not only that, but Thisabald knows Catherick's secret, yeah. I don't know, it's weird either way. Like, it's, it's just a strange thing either way. I don't think he would have kids after turning to Shar because he seemed pretty loyal to his wife even if she was dead. I mean, did he... Is there something that says that he didn't have Thizabald before? Uh, before he turned to Shar? We'll do a little, a little sleight of hand here. Thisabald is a son, Catherick is a terrible dad canonically. Yeah, I mean that's 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 what I believe. We got bone. Oh no, I mean that I think he did have all his kids before turning to Shar. Oh okay, I get what you mean. Okie doke. Mausoleum time. Catherick loves all his children unequally. Yeah, seriously. If I'm correct, he caused his wife to kill herself. Oof. Yeah, bad husband, huh? The massive undead barkeeper is weird. I mean, we're not denying he's weird. These boots have seen everything. These boots have seen everything. True love's caress. Best item for a lone wolf run. Hands down. Oh, we don't need to loot everything. Since you're doing an evil run, will you give up Scratch in Act 3? I don't think I could ever be, like, that evil. I, uh, I debated doing it as Michelle just to, like, fuck with people. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I don't have that in me, you know? I just can't do it. From a bygone era. From a bygone era. Um... Do we have more Bloodlust Elixirs? We don't. I actually think I'm going to, uh, well, after I get this waypoint. We're going to do some shopping. Salt. Vitriol. Okay, so we need ashes. More warg fangs. Okay. We're gonna go on a little shopping spree after um, after we have this quick chat with Raphael. Uh, we're definitely gonna go bloodlust elixir for the Our first fight at the very least. The treasure ahead did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. Killing everyone is okay, but turning down the dog, yeah, that is where I draw the line. Don't tell me Maybe you're worried about me. Assets. 
I've grown quite fond of you, you know. Are you accepting Raphael's deal for the hammer? I, only fair to warn I don't think so. I don't... Mm, well, it is a pretty warlocky thing to do. You know what? Maybe we will, actually. Yeah, maybe we will. I, I like that idea. Uh, what dangers are those? Yeah, maybe... I think we will. I think we will accept the deal. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. Was out wearing my Baldur's Gate 3 shirt today and I had to admit to a stranger that I had over 500 hours in the game? What does your Baldur's Gate 3 shirt look like? That's what I'm curious about. We were sending some pretty awful ones in the uh, Discord server, which you guys should really join. There's a link in the description uh, the other day, but... Paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long tired scenes. Call him the multi lock, two patrons, one a brain, one a poet. Go creeping and awake. And he doesn't even know it. Chances are many more graves than you. It's just the logo. Official merch, and the guy asked how many hours I had. I should buy some official merch. Making deals with the devil? I mean, we're a warlock, you know, we gotta. Lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the Now in the Discord server, you can go to stream clips and hear Truant say Big Papa anytime you want. Oh man, you clipped that. Brazenly swing open. You'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. I bet it is the naked oiled up Carlac picture on the shirt. No, it was just like a it was just the Sterian. It was just really awful looking because of how it was like positioned on the shirt, but it was just like a Sterian from the box art. Let's try this insight check. Okay, we're insightful today. And I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest. I was the one sending them. Yeah, you were. In the dark. Oh. This place, it's Somehow need to trick him into saying that phrase and clip that. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Fair enough. You ever want to do modded playthroughs or stick to classic classes until you've done them all? I'll, I'll throw in a modded playthrough sometime before I finish all of the uh, underestimate this all of the class challenges. You will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the Taking the deal also gets you an evil ending without having to rule over the brain. I mean, we're still probably going to deal our contract from Raphael. If there is one rule I hold dear. Just because I want to fight Raphael, you know? Give the devil his due. Will you keep minor mods after the playthrough? Uh, maybe, we'll see. I mean, maybe like camera stuff, you know? But I don't think anything like gameplay-wise. What's this up here? Oh, there's a burlap sack up here. Okay. Alright. Let's go shopping. Raphael is written so well, yeah. Wild magic run? I'll do a wild magic run for my sorcerer. I think that'd be a fun time. Alright, give me some potions. Ever at your service. Okay, we'll buy some of these. And then we will... I'm gonna buy a potion of flying. I think that's actually like really, really useful for us. And I probably should have been looking for them sooner. I'll buy some of these just because I know we don't have a lot. Uh... Uh, it doesn't look like she has my shelves for us. Oh, sorry. I'm getting EP. I'm getting EP. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Okay, let's see what Araj Obladora has for us. 
you have an unusually high amount of gold for your playthroughs. We're a charisma class. What can I say? Show me your stock. Take a hyena year. Your potions kind of kind of suck. Why does this not have a rarity? These are some bad potions, guys. Why did I only buy one of these? <laughs> Throw your gold at scratch and let him pick it all up. Yeah, one by one. I don't think I'm going to do that. Huh. Come back. I, um... Well, we have enough... No, we don't have enough work fangs for blow those licks. Which is a shame, because that's the one that I, like, really wanted. Uh... I don't think there's any other merchants here in Act 2 that we can go to. Are the... There's no way the House of Healing people are going to sell that stuff, is there? Okay, we'll just make an Elixir of Viciousness and hopefully that'll be good enough. You know? We need ashes. Bugbear? Yeah, I'll check the Bugbear. I don't think he really sells good potions, though. I was expecting her to do much better, given that she's, uh... You know... A potion maker. Anything that says ashes. Come back. Is that enough? It is. Yeah, we'll make two of these. Arage having supply chain issues. Got the dwarf potion. Nah, it's fine. What if Scratch is secretly the Elder Brain? Have you ever seen them together? I haven't. That's a good point. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy to bear them. Yeah, Dog doesn't have anything. Get you seek arms. He has these. I'm gonna buy these. I can see those being useful. One soul of many Ever what about Dareth in the Underdark? Yeah, we could go back to Act 1. Is she still there at this point? An order. Let's check. Why not? I don't mind going back to Act 1 for... Um, for stuff that's going to like happen off-screen in regards to the video, so... We'll give it a whirl. What run is going to be the dwarf run? I... I don't know how to respond to that, Saturn. You've got me floored. One day I'll catch a break. Could sustain an entire village if seen it properly. Why don't you do the dialogue to get... To get the bugbear to give better prices? Honestly, I just I just can't be bothered. Is the main answer. Uh, I know I'm just being lazy. I'll take an eagle feather. All right, Dareth, she's gone. She is not here at this point. She is here. Doesn't have the vendor icon anymore though. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, seriously, what, what run is your dwarf run? Th this run, Saturn. This run's the dwarf run. <laughs> okay. No bloodless elixirs. Take a potion of speed for sure. Hey, there's an elixir of viciousness. Uh, anything else that I care about here? Not really. Did you already get the alchemy supply drop in the graveyard? To be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not familiar with that off the top of my head. 
You can... She sells stuff to make more haste spore grenades? I did not know that. That's really good. I could partial rest, yeah. I don't really like doing that. I'd rather just give what the game... Or I'd rather just get what the game gives me. Hopefully this is enough to make a bloodless elixir. If not, we'll just rock it. Um, it's not. We'll just rock an elixir of viciousness. That's fine. Should be good. Okay. Back to the grand mausoleum. Did you check the house of healing poison slash potion seller? I didn't. I, I, I will. I will. Might as well. Did you save or kill the grove? We killed the grove. How are you going to fit going back into the Underdark lore-wise? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's unimportant stuff. It's not going in the video. I tend to not include shopping or resting or anything like that. Uh, I think this is closer. Alright, this is our, our last attempt for Bloodlust Elixir. I would really, really like to have it for this upcoming portal fight. Don't be mean, Saturn. Okay. Give me bloodlust elixir. Fingers and toes crossed, gang. Fingers and toes crossed. The doctors found I'm still not feeling better. Let's see if I can help you. Ah. Uh, uh, that's fine. No. Alright, let's get going. The one in the graveyard near the house of healing. Well, shoot. Okay. Is that the one, like, on the way to the Grand Mausoleum? If so, maybe it would have been faster to be Grand Mausoleum. Hold on, hold on, we're going back and forth. Open up. Can you craft it? No. Where is this alchemical stash that I've been told about? More like near the road to Baldur's Gate? Oh. This way, I see. Mm, uh, I don't want to have to deal with the geth. In case they're like in the way. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, can you do the portal fight without the oak daddy? No. It's fine. Surely it'll be good enough. You know? Surely this will be good enough. I believe. I have faith. Why do we want Bloodlust other than it being good? Just because we're doing the uh, portal fight coming up. And there's going to be a lot of guys that spawn. And being able to do multiple Eldritch Blasts in one turn is uh, going to make things easier. That's for sure. So this is right. Left. Big one. He's gonna do the house and portal fight in his honor mode run. I, I wouldn't get your hopes up about that one. I mean, I'm gonna try, but I wouldn't get your hopes up about it. Here we go. Yeah, you're gonna do a massive fight while Balthazar cowers in his chambers? Yep, that's the plan. The paintings are in chronological order. That's the puzzle. Oh yeah, I know. I know. I swear I did the puzzle honestly when I uh, when I did my first playthrough, but now I've just got it memorized. Some sort of temple. Looks Can you? I know there's a lot of skeletons around here. Can you animate dead skeletons? I mean, worst case, we just go back up into the mausoleum, but... What's the hardest fight in Act 3 to you? Probably the Raphael fight, maybe the Orin fight. I, I always struggle with the Orin fight. Um, I mean, with like a lot of these characters. I think mainly because I don't use 
illithid powers because i think having illithid powers makes that fight like way way easier but yeah, we cannot reanimate skeletons that's fine You get skeletons from the skeletons? Well, maybe we could reanimate a skeleton from it. That's a good point. Uh, maybe just not a zombie. But I prefer zombies. Oh, man. It's just skeletons. Soul skeleton. Fuck it. We ball. We're having a skeleton. He's got a, the blessing of Sulu Lune. Yeah. It's actually like pretty good damage. Plus 1d10 necrotic. AC 11. This guy's gonna die fast. Alright. What other kinds of games do you play? Uh, in my free time, I've mainly been playing Balatro and Last Epoch. Uh, other than that, though, I haven't been playing much. Of course, Baldur's Gate 3. I still play in my off time, too. Can't get enough of this game, apparently. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I really like... Watch the watch the traps, Shovel. Uh, God damn it, guys. Okay, stop following me for, for a second. <laughs> uh, whoa! What is happening? No, we're caught in a loop. Soft lock, boys. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're so good. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, but yeah, no, I um play a lot of roguelikes. Really like roguelikes. Those are those are a good time for me. The ultimate trio: Gunter, Shovel, and Mr. Bones. Yeah. We got the squad. Okay, we go this way just because... Um, if we go this way and then go into the portal fight, we get a couple more skeleton fellas on our side. Let's drop a Viciousness Elixir. Do a little quick save. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time besides playing with your cat? Um, probably reading. I really like reading. Uh, I'm not reading anything right now, but I, um, I mean, like yesterday I read like all of the Avatar The Last Airbender comics for the first time. That was a pretty cool time. All right, Mr. Bones, um, you're, um, you're gonna need to like stay there for a second while we'll, we'll me and Shovel sneak into position. Let's be on my way. Hope we make this perception check. Maybe sh I should cast uh, Guidance first. Is that the icon for viciousness? That's a that's a bad icon. We did not make the perception check. Wah, wah. See you later, Saturn. Have a good uh, rest of your day. What's your favorite book? Tough one. Really tough one. Uh, for a long time, I used to say The Wise Man's Fear. Uh, or Wise Man's Fear by Patrick. I don't know if that is my favorite still. I've read a lot of really good books since then. Hmm. I'll need to take some time to think about it. Do I have... A C invisibility scroll. I just have one. I, I would prefer to save that for your gear. But we're probably going to be doing your gear in this same long rest. Depending on how well this fight goes, I guess. I'll use it. Okay. I love that series. That's my favorite book, too. It's really good. Yeah. We see it from up here. Well, it still doesn't work. Well, that was kind of a waste, huh? What if we sneak down here? Hey, Sune? Sune Zero? Is that how I pronounce that? 
Either way, thank you for the listener to your membership. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It really helps out. You can still shoot it as long as you remember where it is. Really? I thought you could only do that with, like, melee attacks. Okay, I'll give that a whirl. Thanks for the tip. My favorite book series is Percy Jackson. That's another really good one. Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Name 10 books. I mean, Name of the Wing, Wind, King Killer Chronicles, uh, The First Law, uh, They Before They Are Hanged, uh, A Little Hatred, Best Served Cold. I'm just going through, like, all of Joe Abercrombie's books. Uh, oh, you can. Look at that. There you go. He caught on. No longer frightened. That wore off fast, huh? Um. Okay. Okay, Mr. Bones, you can get back in here. Reattach. Target group is too far away. No. All right. He's going. I don't know how many books I'm on. That was like five or something. Uh, madness of crowds. What other books are there? Uh, Dungeon Crawler Carl. Carl's Doomsday Scenario. Dungeon Anarchist Cookbook. Uh, the Eye of the Bedlam Bride. I don't know, man. There's so many books. That's got to be at least 10 by now, right? <laughs> For bows, if you shoot in a way where the arrow's trajectory passes where the enemy is standing, it will count as an attack as well. Good to know. Have you read Flowers for Algernon? I have, yeah. I read that one on vacation. It's not a good vacation read. All of Discworld is true. Lots of really good Discworld books. I am um, big fans of the Guard series and the uh, Death series. Those are probably my favorites. Yeah, he's at like the edge of our abilities, so we'll just... Boop. That's okay. Get up there, Mr. Bones. Oh, Mr. Bones is ranged. This is not a zombie. <laughs> That's all right. Get in there, Mr. Bones. <laughs> you got this. Yeah, you got this. Fuck them up, Mr. Bones. They're running from you. The Dresden File books were a good time. Wizard Detective stuff. I couldn't get into the Dresden Files. I read the first two books, and it just didn't do anything for me. What about A Song of Ice and Fire? I've actually never read those books. I don't know, I kind of, like, missed the craze on them, and then I, you know, I just, I don't know if those, the, that style of story is for me, like, mature, mm, well, like, that style of mature political fantasy, you know? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just not too interested in it, I guess. Um, these are not, like, uh, Auntie Ethel's stuff, huh? Okay, Mr. Bones is, is uh, soloing now, I guess. Hell yeah, Mr. Bones. Fuck him up. Okay. That was obviously not the best use of, of Mr. Bones, but uh, in my head it was a zombie, I swear. It's way too sad. It's Flowers for Algernon? Yeah, it's really, really sad. I loved it, though. I really, really loved it. Hope you've read 1984 and Brave New World. I actually haven't. I'm I, I'm not a big like classics head. Although I guess is, is Flowers for Algernon a classic? I don't know. Either way, I I don't read a ton of classics. I um don't really know what to do here other than just like shoot the guys I can. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for moving closer. Exposition fantasy books don't do it for you. Yeah, I guess uh, maybe that's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can't really give a great reason, but for whatever reason, I'm just not that interested in A Song of Ice and Fire. Maybe I'll get around to it someday. 1984 is very cheerful. Trust me, bro. Okay, I'll trust you. No Longer Human is a banger. Oh, so many good recommendations here. You know, keep the book recommendations coming. I would love to hear what books you guys recommend. 
I also really like the Wheel of Time books. You know, that's one that I am more interested in. I hear it's also quite the uh, arduous read, but uh, I'm a really big Brandon Sanderson fan. I know he's not the original author of the series, but uh, I mean, honestly, the fact that he ended up taking over is uh, is very enticing to me. Inheritance cycle. This sounds familiar, but I, I can't name any of the books from it off the top of my head. Rapes of Wrath. I gotta be like writing this stuff down. Maybe I'll just like come back to the stream afterwards and, and write this stuff down. Having to hold a lot of fantasy names in your head is what exhausts me. That's fair. I totally get that. Yeah. If you enjoyed Dune, the book is great too. Yeah, I need to read the the Dune series. My dad got it for me alongside the. Uh... You kidding me? There was a Bloodlust Elixir here the whole time! Okay, well, we kind of wasted a Viciousness Elixir, but, I mean, those are, seem easier to come by, at least in the Shadow Fell, not the Shadow Fell, the, uh, Shadow Curse Lands. Right, Aragon, Eldest Brisinger, Inheritance. Yeah, my sister really liked those books. Okay, well, we're definitely drinking this, like, 100%, we have to. Calvin and Hobbes. Oh yeah, I got plenty of Calvin and Hobbes. Sanderson's prose made the last book of Wheel of Time the best in the series. Yeah, I really like his writing. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll check out the Inheritance Cycle next. Like, it's my sisters loved those books since we were kids, and uh, I, I loved the the Aragon PS2 game. So surely I'll like the <laughs> I'll like the books. How's the Noble Lock doing? Pretty good. We've only died once in Act 2. And it was kind of just like an unfortunate series of events. But for the most part, we're doing pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> I think we are prepped for this fight. Um, should I go in with haste active? Maybe I'll cast haste on the first turn. I'll go in with haste active. Yeah, I'll go in with haste active. Risky though, it's pretty risky, huh? Yeah, we're a risky fella. I don't know when the, where the trigger exactly is for this cutscene, so. Hopefully, I don't, like, lose a turn or anything. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's so far. Okay, there you go. We, we, we kind of did it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is amazing. That's another one that I, I really should read. Do you feel like you're getting better at solo runs after each one you finish? Yes. 100%. Most of what goes into the difficulty of Baldur's Gate 3, at least in my opinion, is uh, knowledge. And the, the more playthroughs I do, the more knowledge I gain, the easier the game becomes. American Psycho is also good if you look away from the Alpha Sigma meals it made today. Hopefully this doesn't make you all hate me. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, you're allowed to, to like the source of stuff without liking the community it's a part of. That's totally chill. I don't like saying people sent me, but, um, uh, whatever. What about the old Driz Durden books? Driz Durden. Yeah, I haven't read those either. I My mom actually really liked the old D&D &D books. Um... So maybe, maybe I should give those a shot. She's been recommending me those books since I was legitimately like 10 years old. And she's very mad at me for not reading them. Uh, especially given like what my job is now, but... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get around to that. That seems like a good idea. I, um... Uh, I read an old fantasy series that, I don't know, like in my head it reminded me of what I imagined Driss to be like. I was just purely based off of what little I know about the character. I was reading, um... Oh man, what was it called? Like, Elric of Nebunue? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. 
It's like an old dark fantasy series. Elric of Melnibane. Melnibane, is that it? Okay, we're gonna see how this ends up looking. Oh, please tell me you don't have resistance. Okay, those are just really bad damage rolls, huh? Yeah, bad damage rolls. Elric of Melnibane, yeah. I really liked those. You guys have thunder resistance? Thunder immunity. Do I risk not killing either of these to hopefully kill both of these? I think I do. Okay, we got one. And then we can actually just go in and do this. Killing it. And we'll do this. And I think we will get shovel in straight from the get-go. The Proto Edgelord. Yeah, he, he was an Edgelord, but man, I loved those books. I loved the prose in it, the, the like, weird archaic way he spoke, the, his, his noble demeanor while still being like the edgiest motherfucker in town. I really liked it. I like the Book Thief a lot, isn't fantasy though? I remember really loving the Book Thief too. My grandma gave that to me for like my 13th birthday. 14th? When did the book come out? I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things. Inkheart, that's another one that my sister really liked when we were kids that I just never got around to. Anyone read The City of Ember? That was my favorite. Is that from like the City of, of Ashes series? Like that whole thing? They're coming up fast, they're coming up fast. So we never take these out with one Eldritch Blast unless we get a crit. Which is like a pretty likely possibility for us. So I think we still separate the attacks. That's fine. I should have shot the newer ones. That's also a mistake. Um, that's fine. Maybe if I go up here, I can shoot these two next turn. We'll move this way. Move away from the skeletons that have already spawned. Uh, maybe I should have jumped there too. That's fine. Nope, it's from Roger Zel Zelazny. Nine Princes in Amber is the first one. Okay, I'll, I'll try and check that one out too. Good night, Mr. Truman. Good night, Dinisos. Thanks for being here. Love is Blind is one of my favorite romance books. Does it have any... Uh, any correlation to the, the Netflix TV series? Is it a Netflix series? I don't know. You know, you know the one I mean. Inkheart is a fantastic story, but the writing itself, as translated to English, the prose is very childish, hard to describe, but does not feel good to read as an adult. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll likely still give that give that one a shot. Maybe not soon. I think I'm going to start with the Inheritance series. But I, um, I don't know. I've never really hated childish prose. But I will heed your warning. No, thank God. <laughs> okay, the Deep Umbral Tremor is something to worry about, but I think that takes a couple turns to kick in, right? Maybe we should just kill it. See, this is another thing. It would be easier, the game would be easier if I knew how many turns this took to spawn an enemy. I don't think it happens right away. You know what? Screw it. We're increasing our game knowledge. We're gonna find out. This seems weird to me that we haven't gotten a crit on these. Is it possible to crit these? Am I am I losing my mind? That's real bad. Okay, please die. Thank you. Uh, Roger Zelazny, A Night in the Lonesome October is great. I'll keep that in mind, too. What about those Witcher books? How about those? I did read those. Yeah, I liked those. Um, for the most part. I don't know. I had a hard time separating what I know of the author from those books. Apparently, he's not the nicest guy. I think because you auto-hit, you can't crit. Maybe, I don't know. We were rolling like 9 and 11 with advantage there. 
Uh, alright, Shovel. Keep weakening this one. You got it. Put it on 18 or higher? We could it on a 17 or higher. So we have a 20% chance to crit. Just, like, ignoring the fact that we also have advantage. Summoning more guys. Stop summoning guys. Five turns left on haste. So this doesn't summon immediately. I should probably take it out. Um, yeah. Take a look at the every damage roll. 12 with advantage, 15 with advantage. Twelve with advantage, nine with advantage. I think we might just not be like rolling well enough, which is strange to say. Hmm. It really is shovel. Come on, you got this. Okay, You're, she's she's trying. The curse is strong today. Yeah. But we're increasing our game knowledge. You know, if we can find out whether or not it's like they're immune to crits or or just like a weird dice rolling thing, we're expanding our skill at the game. Recently, you were rolling, were rolling really, really hot. Or really hot. Sorry, just one really. Getting a crit like every other time. This is just averaging it out. True. Do you enjoy melee or ranged combat more? Melee, I think. Um, just because melee seems pretty like unavoidable in most fights, it's, it's challenging to always stay at a range. So this is a little risky uh, moving here, but railing's in the way. Bummer. Nine and five. Fourteen with advantage. That, okay, so that would have been a crit. So I think these things can't be crit. Wait. Yeah, that would have been a crit. We still have covert critical. I'm pretty sure these things are immune to crits. I'm sure you get asked all the time, what is your favorite class to play? Um, I mean, I'm, I haven't played all the classes, so I usually say Barbarian or Wizard because that's what I really like in 5th edition. If I had to go off of one of the classes that I've already played, though, maybe I think I'm going to jump here. That seems really risky. I would really like to take out this Umbral Tremor, too, though. You could jump here, maybe it can get done. Fuck it. Surely that dies. Shovel can take it out. I believe in Shovel. Shovel supremacy. How did you piss off both groups here? I didn't. These guys are on my side. They're just getting their asses beat. No! <laughs> Okay, now we really need to hope we don't lose concentration. Can we get some angry screams on the Barbarian playthrough? I'll try, but I'm just not great at, uh, at, uh, angry screaming. Okay, please keep missing. Please keep missing. Yeah. I need you to not break my concentration. Yeah, you break that guy's concentration. Ah. Uh. Okay. This is very manageable for us. They're getting a lot of crits. I think it's reasonable to drop... No, it's not reasonable to drop a Hunger of the Dark. We have, a, we have haste up. Good lord. It's reasonable to try and kill this guy. Yeah. 
We'll just start thinning them down uh, without really worrying too much about our bloodlust elixir. Hmm. I don't like missing on this guy. My push isn't on. I'm gonna do this. Just trying to like spread out with a frightened AoE. And then we'll move back. What's your AC at? I think we're at 20 with haste? 22 with haste. So we are gonna drop haste before this fight is done, which is a little scary. Especially if all of these guys are shooting us, but I think they might have disadvantage from where they're at because of how far they were. Okay, I think this is a reasonable turn to drop haste willingly. I'm pretty sure if you end concentration, it gives you a lethargic condition on the turn that you are right now. So I think if we shoot twice and then end it, we won't really get lethargic. It's not something that I've tested. This is something that I I think like with the, my understanding of the game, that just seems like how it would work. Mm, same reason, trying to spread out Brightons. That's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna try and kill this guy then. Oh, such luck. So I think, I'm, just to be safe, I'm going to move over here just in case this isn't going to work how I want it to. And then I'm going to end the haste. And I, I think we should still be able to have our next turn. Could you take a potion of invisibility? For sure, if I wanted to just end the fight. But I, I don't like doing that. It feels kind of scummy, like starting and stopping the fight over and over, you know? Oh, hello, fellas. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Yeah, and then we do get our next turn. That is how it works. I do it. Hell yeah. Of course, the one guy we want to kill is like way back there. Come on, man. Get out of the way. Let me shoot your buddy. What if I go up here? Thoroughly we kill with just one beam. No, I'm not going to risk it. Wow. Wow. That is upsetting. I don't want to die to these guys. Do we have the potion of speed here to avoid dying to these guys? That mass shadow step was pretty cool, yeah. I gotta go, can't wait to watch the vid for this one. Thanks for the stream. My pleasure, Cyber Mage. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, that's that's the curse coming in. Um Maybe we just Maybe we just misty step away, just like go around the corner, shut the door or something. We could definitely speed pot into like Cloud of Daggers, Hunger of Adar, something like that, and that would be like really good. We could speed pot, shoot this guy, and then Hunger of Adar, Cloud of Daggers, or know what? Uh. I just don't want to have to. Like, I, I'm worried that we might need potions of speed to take on Merkel, which is the reason why I'm hesitant about doing this, and I don't want to have to, like, farm merchants to, to get a good stock. This is the only reason why I'm hesitant here. I would, I think I would much rather use just, like, a scroll of Misty Step. And just go behind this door and shut this door. Yeah, I think that's what I would like to do. Maybe I could have used the lever. 
And we'll just like go here. Maybe that'll be good for us. Don't open the door. Don't open the door. Thank you. Get close to give disadvantage. We could have done that too. Um, there's another thing I was thinking about. But this works fine. And then there's no way we kill any of these guys with just like a couple. Well, we could kill this guy with some good crits. But I, I think better off would just be a Hunger of Hadar. Just drop a wee hunger there. I really am saying we a lot today, huh? Heal up just to be sure. And then move back a little bit. I almost said a wee bit. <laughs> Please remember that they can shove. Don't worry, we're not going to the... Uh, we're not going to the pits or anything. Hey, what? They can see through magical darkness? Oh, no. They have shard sight. That was bad. To be honest with you, I also kind of thought that Hunger of Adar didn't count as Magical Darkness. I thought it just gave them the blinded condition. That was a misplay, yeah. Oh, no, that's what that says. Can't be blinded. Okay, that was definitely a misplay. So we need to heal. We need to heal bad. So we shoot this guy, which we guarantee... We don't guarantee a kill on. We'll shoot this guy twice to make sure he dies. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, sorry, my cat's clawing me. She's on my lap. She just woke up from her nap and she wants my attention. Um, and then I think we we blast a couple of these guys and then heal up using a potion and get like right into the middle of all of them. I would really like a crit that like frightens all of these guys. That would make me really super happy. That's pretty good. Oh, we don't have enough move speed to get into the middle of all of them. I'm misplaying left and right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll use one of these healing potions to make sure we are up and at them. Wow, we really don't have like a lot of move speed at all, huh? Good. At least two of them have disadvantage. What the heck? Where's that guy going? Good. Those are the guys we expected to miss. Good. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We're threatened. Surely we get a kill on that guy, and then maybe this guy too. That guy's frightened and prone. We don't need to worry about him. Uh, I think we shoot this guy next. Because at this point, we can just go into the middle of these guys, and then we should be good. What gives you the extra action just now? That's a uh, Bloodlust Elixir. Hey, welcome back, Rune. Wow. All of these guys have disadvantage. Just a reminder, you guys have disadvantage. What the hell was that? Okay, that was unfortunate. Um, that was really unfortunate. That was really bad. I wasn't expecting to have to use a potion this turn. Uh. Okay, we kill this guy. Man, I do not like using these big potions. I'd like to kill this guy. He's prone again. We'll just stay nice and close to these guys to keep them with disadvantage on us. They might have something that cancels out the disadvantage? Oh, you're right. You're right. I think they do. I think because we're in darkness. 
No, nope, they do have disadvantage. They're just, they're just rolling good. Yeah, they're just, they're just they're just doing really good for themselves. Um Okay, so same thing again where we kind of need to heal. This is making me real sad. Oh my goodness. Tables aren't for kitties. Hmm. <laughs> How do I feel about just provoking this one attack of opportunity? I, I think I don't feel that bad about it. Now we're no longer threatened. We can kill this guy. Frighten these guys. Uh, We will not push these guys. We kind of like them where they are. Oh my god, we don't have enough move speed to get back. I missed the movement ring. That's fine. Shoot this guy a couple times. There you go. Good. Frightened prone. That's a skip turn. And we'll use a baby healing pot. Okay, hopefully we're good at this point. Uh, tables aren't for kitties. A work safety poster. Yeah, for real. If only my kitty would understand. I blast this guy. That's fine. I don't know why I moved further back. Um, yeah, let's just keep going for this guy. Good. <sighs> I wish there was a bigger body type that gave extra movement. I mean, what else give extra movement? Maybe we can kill this guy? We can. Nice. He is frightened and prone, which means he is a sad, sad boy. Hey, leave it. Little baby cat. Wood elves are basic, though. They are a little basic. What's your AC? AC is 20. So, these guys have a plus 7 to hit, so the odds of them hitting even without disadvantage is pretty low, but there were a lot of shots being fired at us. Either way, that's that. First try, easy peasy. Why not get a hireling for long strider only? I don't count that as lone wolf. I don't know why I'm, I'm looting these guys. They don't have anything. They sure make quite the ruckus when you open their inventory, though. Sounds like you're opening, like, a kitchen drawer full of utensils or something. Would you play Dragon's Dogma 2? Probably. Um, I mean, seems like an interesting enough game from the little I have seen about it. I just, um, uh, I don't think I would, like, live stream it or, like, make videos on it or anything. I'm pretty content with just focusing on Baldur's Gate for that, but maybe in, like, my spare time, you know? The only problem is I don't really feel I have the free time for, like, another really long RPG. Alright, good shovel. Did I save? I'm gonna save again, just to be sure. Good night, everyone. Thanks for all the book, good book recommendations. Yeah, you too. Have a good night. You wouldn't do solo DD2 wow. challenge like me. Honestly, if I were to play Dragon's Dogma 2, that's probably how I would play. I tried playing Dragon's Dogma, like, the first one, and I don't know why, but the, the pawn system, I just really didn't enjoy it. Just having, like, NPCs that are in lore, just soulless creatures following you around just did not feel like fun for me <laughs> i have some extra planar help so to speak You're a leech. all right he's gotta go Interesting. But there's always room for improvement when it comes to the flesh. 
You'd probably get really tired of the pawns yapping about ladders, yeah. Another reason not to have a hireling. Yeah, I don't like them with hirelings either. I mean, I don't like anybody else being with me in this game, but yeah. To ensure you didn't fail your master. What time zone is bedtime right now? Um, European time. Like 11 or midnight or 10, something like that for most of Europe. I want Solar's creatures following me around IRL. Fair enough. You know what's at stake here. I take it. To be fair, the bonds, pawns grow to resemble the Arisen. They gain will of their own. Yeah, I'm just not much of like a hardy RPG kind of guy. We'll make a history check. Easy. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. We love Amkethran. I love how he just stares at us as we're thinking. Uh, enlighten me. Nah, let's say this. We'll insult him. Yeah. Did you see him sultrily raise his brow at you? I did catch that, yeah. I hope not. I don't need my pawns randomly saying... Nice balls arisen. Interesting. There is a relic here, one which General Thor desires. No, needs. I mean, honestly, having soulless creatures follow you around IRL, I think, would be pretty sick. If you could just get them to like do shit for you, like, hey, go fold my laundry. You all know how I feel about laundry. That would be sick. What exactly am I looking for? Easy crit success. I feel like Balthazar doesn't like me. You weren't supposed to read that on stream. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Cockblock. That was Captain Cockblock for all the VOD watchers who, who said that, by the way. <laughs> you need my help? When laundry lore resonates with me, yeah, man, I, I gotta do my laundry. Like, I I actually have to do my laundry. But I always have to do my laundry, so. Aye, aye, Capitan. Alright, please give me flesh. I would like flesh to help me. And I, I'm there's a good chance I'm willing to save scum for it. <laughs> oh no. I think I am willing to save scum for it. Uh, just because it makes the Balthazar fight a, a lot more awkward. And I don't really want to deal with that. So we're going we're gonna to do like a wee bit of saves coming. I dread laundry duty. It's, it's, I hate it. I hate it so much. I did too, gotta wash the beddings and towels. See, I have, so I have, okay, this is actually important for you guys to know in general. So I'm gonna be taking, not next weekend, not like this upcoming weekend, but the weekend after off, because I have some friends coming into town for that weekend. Um, so the Act 3 video will likely be a little delayed. I don't think I'll be able to get it done in two weeks. Wow, this is, this is bad. Steal a speed potion while you're at it? Yeah, we'll do that before we actually fight him. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have some friends coming over for that weekend. On the on the weekend of the 20th. 420, haha. Uh so Act 3 video might be like a day or two later. I'm gonna try to crunch to like make sure it isn't, but Act 3 videos already take me more time to make, so we'll we'll see. It'll be it'll be tight. Easy 20 success. And then um, I'm likely going to, at the end of May, so start of June, end of May, I'm likely going to take a couple weeks off then. 
uh, to visit my family because it's been like a year since I've done that. So I'm probably going to do that. So content might be a little slow in June, but we'll see. First try, exactly, yeah. Flesh will remain here. Yoink. Don't fear. He has One of these days I will do Balthazar as a canon event, but killing him in his room is so much easier. It's so much easier, yeah. And you already gave us reason to kill him, but calling us a leech. Ruin is a family guy. Even at my lowest, I was always a family guy. Um... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So now I've got your gear to do. I think this is still a bloodlust elixir fight. Just in, just you know, based off of how the. Uh... Actually, we'll do the the trials first, and then the stream time mm, probably won't be up, but we'll we'll see where we're at. Speed pot? Yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll get it before we actually fight him. I mean, there's no reason to, like, not do it right now, but it's just... Mm, we'll do it later. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do the trials first real quick. <sighs> I mean, warlocks are leeches, kind of. All right, new, new target for Gunter. We're coming for you, Leandre. Hey, yo, man, what's up? Besides the ceiling, not a mucho. Sub with you, Matea. I wish Balthy would put me in a soul cage. Interesting. So I was told you can jump through this window, which is wild to me. I never would have come up with that on my own. This does not look like something I would jump through. Especially as a man who's like just as wide as that window. Either way, that's... Can, wait, can I just send, like, Shovel in? Can Shovel just do this whole thing by herself? Anyways. <laughs> we're gonna get this done. I always jump through that window? Yeah, I just it just never even occurred to me. Yeah, I would climb through. I wouldn't jump through. But climbing's not an option in this game, so just, you know, the thought just never occurred to me. Oof, ouch, owie. Okay, we're gonna disconnect Shovel so she doesn't go around, like, triggering any traps or anything. I'm gonna do a little quick save. Wait for this dude to pass. Do I have the Boots of Speed on me? I do. Throw these bad boys on. And then we'll uh, throw on turn-based mode. Should be sneaking for this. We'll sneak. Wait a second. Wait for turn-based mode to come back to us. And then we'll throw it on. Maybe I should like sneak into this first room. Yeah. Sneak into this first room. Oh, I clicked on it. Whoops. Whoop. No way I stepped on that again. Move along, little shadow. Bad patrolling pattern for us. Okay, there you go. Turn base mode. Not yet. We make this jump. Then we throw on turn base mode. Well, I guess the boots of speed are like a little pointless, huh? Since we need to use our bonus action to, to jump through this. So we'll dash and then jump through this wee window. I think Shovel can't do this trial because she can't lockpick or Misty Step. What if she just... Oh yeah, I guess, I guess this last door is always going to get her, huh? I do not use turn-based mode in this game enough. It's pretty good. Okay, thank God. I was like, holy shit, do they come up here? Easy peasy. That is Umbral Gem numero uno. 
Let's get out of here. Alright, come hang out with us again, Shovel. Oh, you know what fight we'll probably end on, actually? The library fight. I forgot that we really would like the Dark Justicia gear. We'll probably do that before year gear, if anything. Next up, this is uh, Faith Leap, self-same? Self-same. Alright, everybody. We're throwing on the camp clothes before we strip. We are very encumbered without our uh, without our club of hill giant strength on. That's okay. I got that gear so I can wear matching outfits with Shadowheart. That's cute. Dank just this year. You're so right, Rune. The creature. Attacks are reflection that is not their own. It incurs cheaters falling. Hopefully, shovel didn't get. A, hope, hopefully, shovel didn't get a reflection. We'll go inside first. I don't actually know when. Probably when you get this condition. Condition. Yeah, with, with the reflection spawns. Never mind. I'm being silly. That all of our gear looks about right. Looks right to me. Okay. Do a little uh, quick save just in case something goes horribly wrong. Come on, shovel. Keep up. This is okay. This is what we got our sea invisibility scroll active for. Incredible. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at him just hanging out. He's got like a freaking diaper on or something. Oh, no. It just looks weird from the back. I want to see an entirely different trial where you fight your polar opposite. That would be fun. All right. Let's beat this guy up. I wonder why that only gave four reverberation. Target cannot be moved by force. But why? Here he Oh, here we go. There you go. That's why. Alright. Yeah, beat him up. Get him. You know what, Shovel? Get in on this. It's probably bad to, like, teach you that it's okay to hit us, but, you know, that's fine. He's gonna punch at us. That's fine. Give it, give it the best you got. Oh God, he punches so hard. Immune to prone. Oop. Not immune to death. That's kind of like what happens at the final battle. Battle with the countermeasures. I guess so. Yeah. That sneaky pose has made my soul leave my body, yeah. <laughs> we get to see this fight for free, yeah. That really did it for all the people who wanted to see some Gunter on Gunter action. Go back invisible, Shovel. How dare you be seen. Polar opposite would be so sad if you picked wizard. <laughs> yeah, imagine. You just get like a hunky barbarian that just like throws you to your death. Snaps you in half. Alrighty, faith leap trial. What do you mean you're exhausted? We still have two short rests left in the day. We're n this day is never going to end, Gunter. You get a gith with a gun. <sighs> uh, 
F5, you're so right. Hey, yo, if that's all it takes to get a hunky barbarian signing me up, well, you need to become a wizard first. Yeah, we'll do a quick save. I don't think we need to do anything fancy here. We will leave Shovel behind, and then we'll just jump here. No, we need to walk on it first. Okay. Walk on it, or maybe I just missed it. That's fine. Jump. Jump. Yup. Problem solved. That is Umbral Gem Numero Trace. Recognized by shadows. Interesting. Was not expecting to get an inspiration for that one. Don't forget to save before this awful challenge. Yeah, I have died there before. It is pretty awful. But I, I think I've got it down pretty pat. That, that challenge no longer stresses me out. Okay, and now we're gonna head to the library, which is right here. Perfect. Uh, we're definitely gonna quick save before this. Um... Let's send in Shovel. As a little scouting party. So... As the librarian... I think there's- these guys, like, are pretty okay with following you out, right? Like, we're not dealing with the librarian here. At least not while these guys are all alive. So, we just fight these guys and lure them out. Yeah, I guess so. The Leroic in Apprenticeship's only perk, yeah. Okay, um, so we will have... Winter will stand right here. So that he can be seen by them. Do a little baby heal. You can shoot from the safe distance. Can we shoot from here? Is our Eldritch Blast going to reach? Oh, man. It does. Well, that's unexpected. In that case, I don't even think we want to break the Librarian. If we could just shoot them from here. You know? What if we just stealth and then just start the fight here and then they stay silenced and, and we get to just... Uh... We get to just shoot him. Fellas? I, do you, do you want to fight? Are they, uh... Come on, fellas, come here. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. Are we the baddies? Oh, they're all just chilling. Oh. Um, okay. No time to rest. Yeah, we'll just keep Gunter there. We'll trigger initiative with shovel. We will turn the push on here. Mm, no, we won't. They're far enough already. Okay, there you go. We're in town now. Alright, start leading them up here, Shovel. Uh, I forgot we had a surprise round. We should have we should have started leading them up here next round. Oh, the librarian spawns, guys. Well, maybe we do care about the Librarian, then. Does the Librarian have a spawn limit? Should we find out? 
many times have you died so far in Act 2? Just once. You guys want to find out if the librarian has a spawn limit with me? <laughs> or should I just kill it? It does not have a spawn limit. As far as I know. Have you tested it yourself? I was appalled at the death count in Act 1. Yeah, Act 1 is always going to be the hardest. Especially with like all the weird stuff that was going on for us. Uh, Yeah, let's just see how long the librarian keeps up for. You know? Why not? That's rude. Ow. I was kind of counting on them not being able to do that because they're silenced, but it makes sense that the librarian wouldn't be as mean to them. No! No shooting shovel! Sounds like you're going for two deaths there, you know? It does sound that way, huh? Okay, you're right. We should probably just take out the librarian. XP farm, yeah. Okay, we'll take out the librarian. We'll kill this guy first, though, because all my homies hate this guy. Get in there, shovel. Dang it. Come on. Can't stay idle. We will turn on our push for this guy, too. Wow. We're getting too many crit misses, even with advantage, man. That's upsetting. Maybe we are gonna die here. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So these guys can't be blinded. But they don't have magical dark vision. That means, can they still see into darkness if they're not in it? The curse is strong, yeah. Okay, we will kill this guy 100% next turn, and then we'll start going after the librarian. That's the plan. Yeah, keep missing. Keep missing. If you don't have Shadowheart, does getting the Spear of Night matter if you're not going to kill Aelin? Uh, no. But we're not going... We don't really care about the Spear of Night. We care about the helmet and the armor. I will sleep now, Matt. Good night and good fortune. Alright, good night, Rune. Curse for life. CFL, yeah. Cloud of Daggers in the door. That's what I'm thinking, you know. But we need to take out the, the librarian first. Uh oh, we're bad at saving throws. The DJ gear, I like that. Oh, it does have a spawn limit. You guys had me so you, you guys had me so worried, and for what? There you go. It spawns, what, three guys? That was three guys? Game knowledge enhanced. We are all now better Baldur's Gate 3 players. Good job, Shovel. Okay, we are threatened because of this man. Uh, which means I'm gonna shove him. And then I'm gonna kill this guy. Surely we get it with just one Eldritch Blast. And then I'm going to start shooting this guy. This guy. Excellent. And we'll just keep shooting this guy. Because he stabbed me. One HP, frightened and prone. Bad day for that guy. Okay. Never listen to chat. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why we gotta test things ourselves. I'm glad it ended up working out the way it did. Even if we do die here. 
Oh my god, for a second I thought he was gonna kill that guy. I thought he was gonna like fall down and take one damage and die. <laughs> I really wish that had happened. Ow. Holy. That'll learn ya. He's spawning the three on my limits till I have acknowledged. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. We will use two Eldritch Blasts to make sure we kill that dude. And then we'll drop a cloud of daggers on these two. Because I feel like using it. I honestly think an Eldritch Blast would have been better, but like, you know, it's nice to mix things up every now and then. Then we'll heal up using a potion. And turn the corner. Hopefully that makes them miss us a little bit more. Oh man, that's uh, not a lot of damage. Oh man, Cloud of Daggers was not the play. They have resistance. They have resistance. That's fine. We're fine. I would like that guy to get back up here. Ow, ow. That guy did a lot more damage than, than I would have liked. Are we killing anybody here? Probably not. This guy's... Dual wielding, which means his attacks of opportunity are, like, significantly better. Uh, which is something to be concerned about for sure. We're in kind of a pickle here. Maybe our best play is to, like, go down this way. Drop a scroll of confusion on them, but that's probably not going to work. Maybe. You know what? Let's keep doing weird shit. Why not? Knocked this guy pro. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping it would get all of them. Because our constitution saves are, are really, really bad. Especially with the risky ring. We are not concentrating on Jack. What the hell? Now's not the time, rat. Wait, is the rat going to keep sh attacking me even like out of combat? Because that's really bad for us. I think it is. Okay, we'll, we'll get out of there. Those rats are going to keep swinging at us. Dude, stop. Stop, rats. Okay, I'm sorry. You guys win. Good lord. Hey, hey. Come on, I'm in the middle of something, guys. Okay, these two are confused. That guy I would really like to kill. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, I swear I saw a spot. No, did I not? Oh, there's a spot. There's a spot. Okay, one beam on that guy. And then we'll do one beam on this guy. It was the wrong way around. But I'm never going to complain too much about a crit. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Um. Okay. Hey, we actually made a concentration save. Why? Okay, they skipped their turns. That's fine. Start going for this guy next. Not good. Not good. Wait, you're still confused. Maybe I should be going for this guy. It'll let me. I'm actually more scared of this guy anyways, just because he's dual wielding. And we frightened this guy. Phenomenal. Um... Yeah, we're, we're good just staying where we are. 
Up to the portrait. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to like shoot through the rock to hit us, but you know, I was expecting him to hit us anyways. So, are you gonna get the spellmite gloves? Mm, probably going with crater flesh instead. Oh, oh! I did not think we were that close to the edge. That was um. That was frightening. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. How does it feel, bucko? That's how it's done. Thank god for a club of hill giant strength. That was very, very frightening. You did not get knocked prone or get frightened. This is a fact I can't help but notice. And we are within, like, non-dash movement range, and I think the only way to get out of it is to, without, you know, risking a shove, is to, to move back in the rat's domain. Crater Flesh's bug with EB is so fun. Yeah, that's what, I mean, I know it's a bug, but, like, fuck it. it you know, it's fun. How do I get to hit that guy? Probably don't get to do it this turn. Um, you will, we're going to take a short break to kill these rats then. Yeah, I bet you don't like me. Fun over everything else. Well, I mean, when you're doing a challenge, you gotta you gotta give some credit towards like the challenge itself. But what happens if what's your fall trajectory like this? I probably don't want to push you. Without seeing the... Where you're gonna end up. Oh. I thought I turned it off. Did I just open the passives tab and do nothing? That's fine. I hope they don't fix it because it's literally so fun. It is really cool, yeah. Okay. That fight was a little scary for a moment, but, uh, we survived. You could call lightning, probably. I, I think, honestly, most of the time, just, just Eldritch Blasting is, like, always the correct play. There's very few, few spells that we're interested in casting. <clears throat> okay. Where's the book I'm looking for? Not that one. Get over yourself. Not that one. Man. Not that one. It's one of these. Well spaced on that fight and good target priority. Thank you. That's the one we're looking for. Uh, now which button is it? Is it this one? I feel like it's this one. My brain says it's this one. Cool. I'm doing a solo tactician warlock playthrough on my own right now. I just beat up Raphael on first try today by stunlocking him for 8 rounds straight after taking out everyone else in the room. Are you doing like a similar build? Gulak, frightened prone? My goodness. Traps everywhere. that easy folks for those of you who have never done this before we're looking for the teachings of lost the night singer just pop it on that pedestal as i just did and then we're we're good to go gulak brighton plus prone it's insanely good yeah i'm excited to see the later uh the later acts for sure or the later act singular we get the dark justice your helmet here very very good for us it's literally just like a straight upgrade well it's not literally i mean Swaps the deck saves for con saves, but con saves are better for us anyways, so that's good. And then it also gives a plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we're definitely going to be throwing that bad boy on. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. And, you know, there's the Spear of Night. 
find his way. Um, uh, is my memory mistaken? Is the, uh... Is the Dark Justicia half plate not in here? Am I losing my mind? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. We also get the Dark Justicia half plate. Uh, this gives advantage on constitution saving throws. I don't think we're going to be using this until the Merkel fight, but we will throw it on for the Merkel fight because we're really going to want to be concentrating. We are also going to take our risky ring off for that, but... Um, on the floor yeah listen 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 guys <laughs> um anyways yeah it's pretty good uh i think our current armor is overall better but the advantage on con saves is going to be really nice for the Merkel fight so we're not going to be using this quite just yet but keep it in mind i like the image of this cursed man approaching every bookshelf pulling a book and being stone-faced as he gets a face full of acid at each shelf he's just that's just a regular bookshelf for him Finally catching a stream for the first time in a few tries. How is Gunter doing? Gunter's doing really good. Um, but I, I'm really sorry for saying this, Hunter. But uh, that's where we're gonna call the stream, folks. <laughs> that is um, I'm very sorry for the timing. Uh, but yeah, we've been streaming for about six hours. Um, a little under six hours, fifteen minutes less, so it's a little shorter. But uh, if we start up the Gear Gear fight, then we're gonna be going overtime. So um. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna call the stream here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll play the power. There are pings on the Discord server for streams. If you want to make sure you catch them more frequently, there will be another one tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, same time this stream started. So be there or be square. Uh, yeah. There is, I should get a Discord command. You're right, Bunny. Um, I'll set that up for next stream. Right now, it's just an automated thing. Uh, but you're right. I will get that going. Uh, for now, there's just a link in the description. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all your continued support. It, it really means the world to me. So I will see, hopefully, most of you guys tomorrow. And if not, then stay tuned for the Act 2 video. Either way... I think tomorrow we'll be able to wrap up back too, but have a good night. Bye. Buenas noches.